This match is literally going... and playing uh, Faust against Faust. Uh, we're talking yes. RNG madness, Faust. chaos madness, you name it, we're probably going to see it. <laughs> and the it. crowd is hyped right now. They're hyped. Let's get to it. Let's get down to brass tacks. Now, something that Faust struggles with at the beginning is round start, but I, yes. you know, obviously it's a Faust ditto, so I'm really excited to see how they're going to handle it. And we want to mention, as you can see, this is one of the newest maps added literally on Friday. That's right, we are playing this exhibition on the new patch, meaning Biken's legal and everything else <laughs> of Chaos is legal. <laughs> oh, here it goes. More Doctor, the better. And then... <laughs> Let's start the peer review, baby. Let's get to it. Faust is such a, a crazy character, and it's like you mentioned before, it's always that round start that we try to get. Let's see. Okay, goes for the right, go. low. Going for the drill, getting the distance, but getting the hook. Will he burst it right into the bomb? Will it explode onto the shield? Massive damage! And just like that, using the bomb against Elven Shadow Larry, very well aware of that. Tries to call in, calls in the troops. Ooh. Tries to continue the combo here. Going to come in with the tornado into the fast RC right there. Ooh, but the burst is fur uh, first. Missing the scissor hands. Shadow has, oh, even this up. Oh. But missing the mix. Oh. oh, that's a counter hit. Not going to be able to continue the combo. Does get the 5P anti-air. A yellow, yellow RC into an overhead and finishing out round one. Elven Shadow looking really strong after that. Yep, Elven Shadow knowing this character to the T, you could say. Beautiful anti-air there from the side of Lurie, though. Going to try to close in and call on the trumpet. Mini Faust out and about. There is a bomb. There's about two bombs right now. Here it goes. Oh, oh no. And Elven Shadow getting blown up right now into the super. Give me your kneecaps. You're coming here. Elven Shadow. Oh, and this is going to go into a wall break, too. <laughs> Whoopsie. I always love that animation. That animation is quite wild. Okay, so. is gonna get the punish there. Elven Shadow trying to make this comeback has a huge health deficit, but does have a fear bar meter to work with. Nice RC, oh. but a two P is going to seal out. <laughs> We're all right. Dual three. Elven Shadow having burst can use it anytime he's in trouble. Beautiful counter hit there from the side of Lurry. Activating the mini Faust. Okay, here we go. Elven Shadow getting the air in. Gonna call on the trumpet again. Right back to neutral. Mini Faust is out, but missing that aerial heavy slash. Ooh, okay, using the tornado to get out of that corner. I like the decision making here. Does have a bond on the side of the corner, has already blown up. Mini Faust <laughs> yeah, activated. This There's just chaos. Go. This is absolute chaos. <laughs> two trumpets? He's That's calling out the trumpets? army. Oh my gosh. Oh, ducking under the skewer. We got meteors. Oh, look at all those meatballs <laughs> coming down. Bombs, explosions everywhere. Oh, here we go. Beautiful box. Time, Time up. up. Larry taking the first game. Elven Shadow. That was an absolutely incredible ditto. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Larry calling it out right now all right, well, and talking to the crowd. Insane that has taken down Elven Shadow. That is an incredible feat. One of the, probably the tournament organizer for this entire event, but also one of the best Faust probably in North America. Not just the best Faust, one of the few Faust players that actually has been playing Faust since the beginning. 
prior to the patch that has helped this character. Accent okay? for Exard every time. It, he's every an incredible time. person. But that means that Larry is going to stay because this is kind of like a, a crew battle. I'm, I'm more familiar with Smash, but uh, if someone loses, they have to uh, get out and the person Correct. on the opposite team comes in. So. Yeah, so with this 10v10 exhibition, if you're just tuning in right now, this is part of Frosty Faustine's 14's after party. And as a reminder, again, this is an exhibition that is on Guilty Gear Strive, on the new patch, character biking allowed. I want to see in biking. addition to that, it is a first to one, meaning because Elvin Shadow lost that game, he is out, which is unfortunate. However, on the side of Lurie, Lurie will be able to actually continue on and fight the next person on the other team. And I believe the two teams are headed by Solstice yes. and Tempest, correct? Mm -hmm. They uh, are. So. I'm, I'm not sure what side um, Elven Shadow was on. I believe that was Tempest, right? That might have been Tempest. Tempest? Yep. Yeah, we did get confirmation from producer. So right now, it is 1-0 on the side of Solstice ahead and Tempest. And that was a strong showing, too. Mm -hmm. The rest of Solstice team, or uh, Tempest team, is probably you know a little shuttered right now just because of that showing out. You know, Elven Shadow being such a prominent and strong player. Yes, it's always, it's just crazy that when you see that big name get taken down, you're like, hold up, wait a minute. I know we're having fun <laughs> here, but well, what? All those, all those items are hard <laughs> to keep track. Even oh my God, let's talk about that match real quick while we get the next players going in and on the stage. Uh, that entire match of just throwing out all of the <laughs> items. Like, what was that? Item super. There were probably three bombs. There's three bombs. Someone oh, summoned man. double trumpet. Yeah, yeah. I have never seen that. Pull and out the army. <laughs> the entire gang comes in. I think we saw, like, double Faust minions, too, at some point. It's like the chaos that this character does. And it's interesting because a lot of people, when they talk about Faust, they do talk about the fact that it is a character that suffers from RNG. So sometimes it will never be in your favor and sometimes it will be in your favor. I got a, I got a keychain for this. <laughs> I got this at the Prada RNG Jesus. Yep, is, there you go. That's, that's exactly what it is. We're definitely praying to the RNG gods tonight uh, on this exhibition. And again, we are gonna probably still see Faust because Blurry again did win that uh, last game. I'm not too sure about the winner rules, but I'm pretty sure with a new person, if they did have to change uh, the character, they are allowed to. Uh, that's usually what happens in some of these 10v10 exhibitions. Um, but we are currently waiting for our next player from Team Temptus. Making their next move, trying to figure out who, I don't know, what What do you think would be a good character against Larry's Faust? Someone with high rushdown like Soul or Geo struggles, or struggles with them just because they're all up in his face all the time. So definitely a character that can just full on rush. Leo tends to be a good character. Ramlethal as well. Uh, take note that while Fa we did see like an incredible performance there from Blurry, uh, Faust has hitboxes that extend beyond where he's standing. So a character able to actually go ahead and punish like with either a 6P or actually reaching those far reaches hitbox it, it makes sense it will probably be a character like either soul or are we really getting a jacko jacko all right well, i'm so sorry faust i'm so so <laughs> sorry faust does struggle with this faust's whole thing is that a lot of the time his own toolkit can be used against him you know throwing out his hurt box can be a real big detriment especially a slash and heavy slash off really throw out his arms and something like jacko where she can just hit you across the entire screen it's going yes. to be really difficult this is going to be interesting because, again, I actually don't really like this matchup for Jacko. This is one of the ones that she's going to have to be really up in Faust's face to actually go ahead and take advantage of the minion setup. And this is, of course, again, not counting the fact that we are on the patch. So some of the bug fixes haven't been fixed. And oh my goodness. Okay, good start here. Already sandwiched in between a minion and Jacko, but the minion goes away, shooting the fireball. Oh, it looks like oh, Sep does not want to be anywhere near Faust right now. There's a bomb and a trumpet. Okay. Look at all these hurt boxes coming out. Bomb explosion. Yeah, cool guys, don't look at explosions. <laughs> mix, 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 going to throw it out, extending that combo. But Jacko is in danger right now. This is a tough situation to be in. It's Seth's looking favorite. really ugly right now, but this is actually great for Seth here. Able to summon the minions. Gets oh. the dust. And actually, do we got those combos? No yes, burst. we do. No burst. 
Okay, here we go. Goes for the grab. Beautiful. And Seth showing that Jacko may be the answer to Faust here. But Larry is not out just yet. Okay, gets the counter hit on the jump in. Gonna Minion try to. He's down, to going for the dust again, but it's not going to work twice. Trumpet is out, getting the minions. Oh, oh, extending that combo. Look at all of these items coming out. Larry is just letting it loose. Okay. Oh, but Seth has a trumpet, was able to call upon it, forcing Larry to actually jump. Oh, okay. The, the hammer got rid of the minion there, and Jacko is in the Afro state. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. What a great usage of the timer on the minion. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You give it or block that. <laughs> Oh, oh, Edward, scissor hands. Come here. It's a new hairdo time. Amazing stuff, Larry, making this comeback happen. We're going to go into the final round here. Both players do have their bursts. Really good blocks there. Does get the counter hit off of the anti-air. Oh, but the gold burst and the, oh, no. the oh, entire Larry. super. How many bombs are there? There's like what four? was that? I counted like five. OK, here we go. Ooh. Seth getting all of this damage right now. Scarecrow coming out, has to block. Does get opened up. Oh. Beautiful grab, though. Sets up Minion to try to jump in. In the corner against Jacko. This is a tough situation to be in. Wall spot Ooh. into Super. Come here, <laughs> give me a hug. Into the Elysian Driver we go. This is going to wall break and do some nice, significant damage that Seth needed. Going to set up Minion here as well. Oh no, but gets the counter hit there when trying to touch on the Minion. Jumps in, does get a hit in. Seth here does we have go. the puzzle oh! for us all! Give me your kneecaps! Come here, you don't need them! <laughs> does it kill? Does it kill? Does it kill? Yeah. It does. <laughs> Both players are waiting too. Larry. They're like, I'm not too sure if it's killed or not. <laughs> and Lurry, staying alive already, taking down Temptus' second team player here. And unfortunately, Jack will not able to keep up against Larry's Faust. Yeah, keeping the seat. He's keeping it warm for his uh, <laughs> for his players to come, or who knows? Maybe he could just wipe the entire thing. But, it's interesting, wow. right? Because like with the way this ten v ten works, there's not really someone that actually like goes ahead and says, "Yeah, I'm gonna be anchor here. You can be point." And you you know, usually in a ten v ten like this, it, you have marble. players. Yeah, almost. pretty much. There's no assist though. Like yeah. KOF. This is KOF. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, and. Larry Dean already a good job. I'm sure Team Temptus though trying to figure out what to do here, trying to somehow take down Larry's false. It's already 2-0, and this is a bad set to be in for, because you know Tempest is already warmed up. He's already got those. He's he's, he's good. Yeah, he's, he's feeling it right now. Who knows what they're going to throw at him next? But probably in my in my opinion, I think it's a character that needs a heavy rushdown. Soul or you know Kai. Faust struggles with those matchups where he's just almost out of range. With Jacko, kind of like you were saying, she was almost sticking to him like glue until the minions were out, and then she could yeah. let loose. But we're going to an another, another one? Another one? Yo, Tem... <laughs> another one? <laughs> we got to talk with Elvin Shadow. Did Elvin Shadow put all the Faust players the, the together Elvin to Shadow go against one Faust? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to another Faust ditto. This is round three. Larry keeping the seat warm. Larry's pumped. You can look at him. He's look already pumped. He's getting ready. He's sitting down, just tapping on his stick. All right. Duel one. <laughs> we got Doc versus Larry. The Doc is in. Let's see if he can give him the procedure here. Beautiful Ooh. jump in. This is a strong start for Larry. Doc with half health already. <laughs> Both still have burst. Look at all of these options going on right now. <laughs> Larry still haven't taken any damage right now. He's just throwing out all of these options. Oh. Scarecrow into Mini Faust into. Look at this. Look at this these is conversions. This looking really dangerous for Doc. Tries to avoid the minion. Not going to be able to. All right. <laughs> Both of them just breaking the 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 the. the Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Uh. All right. Looks like Larry taking the first. Round of the match. Drill into. Okay. Tries to float in to try to get the jump in. Getting caught in the mini Faust there. Oh, okay. We got a counter hit. <laughs> I, you just know, this is crazy because they have to play like this. It's a lot of RNG to bring out and then try to go in. Look, uh, Doc trying to go in and getting punished for it as well. And Larry's just playing really phenomenal though. What Faust does best is with the... Oh, oh no! This is the purple RC command grab! 
and the burst misses to the gold burst in Larry's corner. Larry has full meter. Another random super Ooh! comes out and gets the Edward scissor hand. And avoids all of the items that just came out. And here we go. Getting caught in the command grab on Larry's Ooh. side. Okay, Ooh. good blocks. Almost let it rip. Faust is really good with just setting down the obstacle course and letting your opponent just kind of have to guess on what's going to go on. But Doc, Ooh. on a sliver of health, could this be game three Yo, that Larry the wins? Max clash and everything gets caught in the grabs. And Larry still <laughs> staying alive in this 10v10. Larry is 3-0. 3-0 right now. 3 and Oh, right now he is absolutely dominant. Who he's, will he throw him? Look at him. He's like, he's like, ready. Let's go. Who's up? Who's up next? Who wants, <laughs> who will he throw who wants the smoke? Who wants the mystery? <laughs> who, who wants the Who wants the technology? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him. Talk to him, Larry. All right. I, I think they're just like, yeah, first to one. You know, <laughs> and, and that's another thing too. First to ones, uh, like, if you thought first to twos were bad. First to ones force you to adapt within the rounds. Like it's not even like you have no time, you to, have time to adapt. And that's a big, big thing about these exhibitions is like you gotta be quick on your feet. It's not just about knowing the matchup, you have to know the actual player. There's no dilly dallying in <laughs> in best of ones. It's <laughs> and Faust is hard to adapt to because yeah. he can switch up his game plan literally by the item he throws. Absolutely. He throws down the obstacle course and then you both have to navigate through it. And sometimes it's in his favor and sometimes it's not. So you yep. just kind of have to, depending on the character, you almost have to fit that in like a puzzle piece, right? Yep, uh, absolutely. And it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Like we mentioned before, uh, taking down Faust, a good Faust, is incredibly difficult because you can't just jump in one. And you can't just go ahead and be like, yeah, this is going to be super easy. Let's just, no. are we really no going? Way. No way. No way. Really? <laughs> All right. Where's Elvin Shadow? Hold on. Hold on. Elvin. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Sorry. I have, to, I have to egg him on. It looks like they're just deciding, like, is this really going to happen again? Y'all really brought out another Faust? Another Faust. I, <laughs> I, f I feel like a lot of these picks were, were a little biased here with please, the Faust. Please. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I see a, uh, there's a Faust uh, cosplayer over here. He is, he's got the bag. There he is. There he Faust goes. Is in the, the real Faust is in the crowd. The real Faust. Get in there. Get in there. Get in the there. Real the Faust real Faust. There. there he is. <laughs> there he is. All right, but we're going to Milia. Larry okay. sitting high and mighty right I now. I actually like this pick. This pick could actually be trouble for Larry, and he's even realizing it too. This could be a. This could be definitely different from the other opponents he was facing. Wh oh, oh. what? Oh, it's probably okay. uh, button checks. Button checks okay. Yeah. I was gonna say gold burst at the beginning. Yeah. That was incredibly brave. All right. Uh, Again, I like the pick of the Milia and stuff. Okay. okay. All right, yep. Yeah. It looks like they right, are going check. ahead and checking everything right here. All right. Don't worry, folks. Just button checks. No need to worry. Right. Also, too, reminder that this is, of course, a... Um, well, technically, it is a Friday to Saturday event, but if you really think about how long people have been here and the entire venue has been open, it has been since literally Thursday night all the way to tonight up until 10 p.m. 72 hours of pure fighting game awesomeness. Yes. I I love this event every year. As a, as a Chicago local, it's just, I, I love this, this event. This one's actually year. my first one. I'm from Florida, so oh, obviously wow. we're, we're not used to the Is snow. The cold? We came in and we were like, yeah, I'm getting frozen. <laughs> now. But indeed, indeed. Uh, again, it's just one of those things that, uh, Shout outs to the Frosty crew for making such an event happen. We're seeing a couple of uh, oh, nice laughs here. Are we really going to see May? Tatsugeki here? Now, I, and I want to say shout out to production and shout out to all the TOs that can make this amazing event happen. It literally would not happen without you, the commentators, Absolutely, the players. Yeah. We wouldn't be here. So big shout out. Support your locals. Support your majors. Do whatever you can. And remember, safety first. That's been a huge thing here at Frosty's. Uh, actually, one of the safest events that I have gone to and also one of the first offline events this year that I've gone to. They've done a phenomenal job with testing, making sure everybody wears their masks and everybody stays safe. All right, but we're going right into it. Can Larry be dethroned? He is 3-0 and oh right now. Tempest's corner is not looking too hot, but he's got some items up already. 
I can, I control is having a hard time getting in. Larry is just absolutely walling out control right here. Oh no. Okay, and that is a big counter hit. This is going to be hard to come back through. And the mini Faust opening as well the to burst. add some damage. Forcing the burst here. <laughs> Going over, crouching underneath the anchor there. Oh, 2K into 2D. Be oh. careful, the whipped grab is going to lead to oh. big damage. But Control recovering, but not able to capitalize it with Larry still in here going for that first round. I'm gonna, if, if Larry can is going on 4-0, that's gonna be absolutely nuts. They definitely chose the right player to start off the game. There it is, an anchor, or not an anchor, <laughs> the weight, hammer, hammer, anchor, all this metal coming out, oh and a gosh. trumpet. Okay, the trumpet has been sounded, but unfortunately that's gonna be a counter hit here on the side of Larry, bringing it out the, the command grab. Okay. Going all the offense, eye control, it's taken away. Larry, it's still Larry's <laughs> turn. Another command grab and into the Afro explosion. Oh no! That is a gold burst, does get punished, but just a little bit of damage. Tries to get in. Not looking good right now for control. Just let it rip. And the hammer Larry. taking it right there. Larry's just chilling. Four and oh, who will dethrone him? Who? Who can dethrone him? I. I really want to talk about Faust right now okay. in terms of who was calling him low tier before. <laughs> <laughs> who was putting him in bottom three with Anji and Jacko? Hey. Like we need to have a call, like a talk. <laughs> Seriously, what, like what's going on, guys? Low like, tier hero. We're low tier heroes out here. <laughs> literally, literally, literally. That's what Lurie's being right now. Low tier He's hero. A low tier hero. Anyway, who will they choose next? Tempest's corner is not looking too hot. They're they're really struggling right now. And what, they have six players left that they can choose from? Because this is 4-0, right? Yes, if I do math. I'm yes. terrible with math. Because so. it's a 10v10. So they only have six players, which, you know, is... It's <laughs> Solstice has 10. They still have Solstice, 10. Solstice has uh, minus Larry nine players that are really ready to go. They're, like, fresh and ready to, like, take down Tempest's team. So Tempest may have tried to use all of their points and now they're trying to go for their anchor hopefully this would be a good time to use the anchor if there is one again with these types of 10v10 exhibitions it is a little bit hard to go ahead and determine who's going to be your anchor and point uh, because everybody's just sort of been picked uh, a lot of people were signed up and then they were picked on the spot which of course shout out to frosties again for ha having this awesome event um, and I believe there's going to be more for the during the after party today. I believe there's going to be more events that are going to be streamed. Yes. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. But right now, I'm just anxious to see who can contest. Who can contest Larry? Like yep. Solstice's team is looking high and mighty right now. If we can see something, someone dethrone him, that's going to be incredible. So hopefully they can choose the right option here. I'm, I'm like looking. They're disgusting. It's They're crazy. Disgusting. It's I wish there was like a camera that was like pointing where we're we're it's, like trying to actually like. It's like see Knights right of now. the Round Table over there. It's, yes. It's literally like. <laughs> yes, it is. What do we do? <laughs> we're we're in the trenches, everyone. What what do we do? What what is wrong? What is the formula to take down Larry? What is he doing? <laughs> this is also a really interesting point too. Um, this is also the moment where like the team should be talking to each other and being like, okay, person one, what. What happened with you? Okay, Larry did this, this, and this. Person two, what happened to you? Larry was just on point with reactions and backdashing and et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's where you should be as like the lead of that team talking you have, you have about. four games. You have four yeah. games of experience and there's a huge TV there too. So yeah. even if, you know, the players themselves on the team can watch. So it doesn't put Larry at a disadvantage, but it definitely makes it so his play style is a little bit more understood which yep. as a player can be a little bit difficult but high level players don't struggle with that you know they're on stream all of the time so if they can make it work larry definitely can and he's been showing out absolutely absolutely and if you're just tuning in again this is frosty faustine's 14 after party where we're doing the guilty gear strive 10 v 10. uh the current teams right now is team temptus versus team solstice <gasps> i know him hey hey sky Good luck. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Uh, did she just say oh boy? Like <laughs> I, we we were rooming together. Uh, well, it looks like he's going to have a salty 
come back on the run <laughs> So this is, well, actually, I play Faust, so he kind of has the Faust matchup experience. Okay. Uh, he plays Zato and Happy Chaos. Um, uh. he, yeah, so um, I'm not sure which one he's going. He usually plays Zato uh, when he's on his hitbox. Uh, he had a little bit of trouble with his stick um, over the course of the weekend, so he's been playing a lot of his hitbox, so I'm excited to see which one he pulls out. Yeah. And to see if I have trained him well or not. <laughs> I do feel a little bit bad, because uh, again, this is the patch where we do have a couple of those bugs. So there's a big chance that if he goes Happy Chaos, the optimal routes might be broken for him and not available to actually capitalize. And if it's Sato, well, <laughs> that's another Weird. broken character. But it looks like we are going to go for the Happy Chaos. Uh, just has to play a little smart, play really good, and here we go. I'm torn here because as a Faust main, I want to cheer on my fellow Faust, but at the same time, this is my friend here. So it's going to be a little difficult for Faust because he kind of struggles in this matchup. But as we've seen, Larry does not really like mind losing matchups at all. No, not at all. Has really proven that he has the knowledge in this game. A nice XP, but is it going to get hit by the bag? And here we go. Ooh, okay, we got some gun loops right there. Lizard Man looking pretty strong. There's a trumpet out right now. He's playing really patiently, but getting hit Ooh. by the army and a knockdown is not going to be sitting too pretty. Okay, nice interrupt here and does get the reticle out. Gonna try to get that heavy gunshot there. Brings out oh, the focus, no. but that is a counter hit. And the block oh, to burst, whoa. oh no. Lizard Man does have full meter. He could yellow RC here. Blue RC into Ooh. a whiffed grab. And here we go, goes oh, for the go. purple RC up at the throw. Tries to wall break, uh, but the stand P on the wake up is going to take it there. Lurie's pumped. Look at him go. Got to be careful there. The beginning of the match is everything but whiffing that 6P right there. The reticle is out. Gun. Bang. 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 <laughs> oh. Instead, getting slashed there from the jump in. Oh. Going to get caught in the Edward Scissorhands command grab. Very nice. Oh, heavy slash aerial. Ooh. And the kick, oh, this is not looking too good for Lizardman. He is in the corner right now, but we have gun loops going on right across Ooh. the stage with that grab. Let's go. Oh, gold and the gold burst. burst activation into the purple RC. Tries to go for the dust. Okay, good blocks here from Lizardman. Has this to survive. Not, yeah, <laughs> Never is. mind. There it goes. Looks it like was a good try there as Larry takes another player on Team Tempest. Larry is 5 0. Oh, wow. With Faust I gotta, again. I, I, I have to clap for my homie. Shout out to Lizard Man. But again, oh, look, look at him. <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry is calm and collected. Right <laughs> Larry's oh. taking names. And the, oh, He's oh no. ready to go. Another Faust ditto. He has like Faust stuff all over his hitbox. This is another Faust ditto. I swear, I, I, need I swear. I to talk to like Elven Shadow <laughs> here. Like, it's the Elven you, Shadow you brought influence. all the Faust players onto one team. <laughs> you let, let the best one like <laughs> not on your team. Like, what was happening oh, here? I know because he knew. He knew. He's like, I know, I'm the best one. I'm the best one. There, there, mm -hmm. there is no best one. Mm -hmm. there, there's the other Faust, and then, but now there's Larry. Yeah, it looks like Larry's uh -huh. gonna be the best one now. But could this be the time? I say that every time because I wanna, I wanna be hyped. But like, could this be <laughs> the time that Larry finally gets defeated, or is this going to be a 10-0? We're halfway there. Again, if we are on the team Tempest uh, coaching side, right? Like, if you picture it this way. If you're in the huddle. Yeah, you're, yeah, in, the you're huddle. in the huddle. There's like a mic inside the huddle. All right, you're all on team. There's five games that have been played already. Everybody has lost, especially like four of those have been fouls. You're talking to your teammate and you're telling them, okay, what's happening? Why is this kid like actually able to take all of these games from us and playing like so well? What is his pattern? What's the strategy? And Team Tempest should be able to help with their next member who's gonna be fighting against Larry right now. Exactly. And I would say matchup knowledge is crucial here, but right now it seems like this is just player, like play style matchup, right? Yeah. And it seems that Larry's just been dominating everyone because he can just freestyle so easily with yes. Faust. All the items everywhere. He knows exactly what to do with each and every one that comes out. Again, and another thing too, this is a first to one. So Larry has been adapting to each player within the round. Okay. Ever starting off strong, putting Larry on the defense right here, kind of getting him out. He really, he hasn't thrown any items just yet. Yeah, that's one big thing here that has been in the favor of Larry is just bringing out all the RNG. OK, 
Okay, tries to go in with the dive. Emperor is in danger. He's going to potentially get that negative penalty. Mix, mix, mix. Getting Emperor and putting him back on the defense. Bomb okay. activating the mini Faust and the skewer just oh, barely beautiful. reaching. Oh, <gasps> yo! Oh, nice. Punishing Lurie's attempt at the purple RC cancellation off of that super. Oh, be careful. We got the bomb right there. Oh! oh. Gonna catch Lurie with the command grab. Does gain access to the trumpet. Gets oh. hit by the dust. 2K dust and a burst to get out of it. Larry is sitting at a little bit of a disadvantage, oh. but not just yet. Don't count him out. All right. Emperor having to take this round if he wants to stay alive. Okay, the bomb actually going against Larry this time. Getting blocked off of there. Beautiful anti-air. Larry staying oppressive right here. He's just not, or wasn't letting Larry get like a chance to breathe at all. Emperor is doing a very good job of walling him out. No, you are not coming over here. I will not live, get you, give you the chance to throw out any items. Look at them go as they are just throwing items back and forth. Mini Faust. Oh, that is a bomb in the favor oh, of no. Emperor. And here we go. Oh. Tried to wall break, but the burst came back just in time. Oh, the Tries to grab. go for the grab. Oh. Okay, good blocks here. Tries to backdash, thinking that a command grab was going to come off with that canceled uh, purple RC. This is definitely Frosty Faustings, as we see right now. All these Fausts that are on the screen, all of these items, all this chaos, a bomb, bananas. Oh, Larry's gonna have to be careful. Oh, but oh. the grab putting him into the corner. Okay, we do see Larry with the burst. Oh, sorry, Emperor with the burst, rather. And beautiful Emperor staying alive. Definitely catching Larry off guard there. Emperor still has burst, but Larry is not too far behind. Could oh. this be the match that dethrones Larry? Let's not commentators curse it, though, as we see Emperor trying to gain the momentum and keep up this pressure. Gonna bring out the bomb. Does catch Larry as they press a button. It was raining fire there for a sec. So many oh, trumpets, but the go burst. Okay, nice, beautiful. Another bring trumpet. Out. Oh, very Ooh. nice. Roman cancel. Yo, let's go. Okay, forcing Larry to burst. Gets oh. the command grab. Larry putting, being put in a tight corner oh, here. Both of these the afros. Oh no. Oh, this is not looking good. A long combo string. Some meteors coming out. Patience here from Emperor tries to go for the whiff. Larry is has evened it out. It, is, it is very close. Tries to chip out there, not gonna be able to catch oh, the five P. Larry is finally dethroned. <laughs> Tempest getting or Solstice, <laughs> Solstice getting their first win <laughs> over Tempest. Oh man, the 5-0 demon. But this means that Solstice still has what? Nine more players to work through. This there is going to be an up more uphill players. battle for yep. them. Very nice. Congratulations to Emperor for dethroning that absolute monster. Yes, that indeed was probably the nicest pop-up in for sure. Two Faust players literally going at <laughs> each other in that fashion and finally dethroning Lurry. Lurry even was just like, I can't, like he fell out of his chair. <laughs> like he couldn't believe it. I feel like it's, it's poetic that it began with a Faust Ditto, and now his run ends with a Faust Ditto. You know, yep. it's, it's very poetic. Shout out to both of these amazing players and everyone who's played so far, too. So this player, I'm actually very well aware uh -oh. of. Uh-oh. This is from Florida. Oh, he's from, uh-oh. One of the strongest like players come from Florida. There get, oh, man. <laughs> okay. Tempest has all the heavy hitters already. Yeah, actually, yes. Throwing up all their strongest. Yes, you are absolutely right. I want to mention, too, that this is going to be Kai versus Faust. That Ooh. is going to be <laughs> very stressful. Uh, I know you mentioned Kai, actually, when we were talking about it earlier, where um, Kai can be one of those characters to get in Faust's place, or face, rather. Right? So maybe this is also going to be something in favor of our Florida player here. Uh, also too though, we saw really good adaptation from Emperor. So there's also a good chance that everything can like work out in that sense. Now, something that kind of, uh, it's in Kai's favor is that Kai has really large hitboxes with that sword and can kind of box Faust in. And if Faust gets snowballed, he 
really, really hurts after that. Just because he needs the items, he needs meter in order to like function. But Kai, Kai's good all around. He is fine with that. That projectile is also going to be very annoying there, but a bomb already out and a command grab landing its landing its mark. Okay, good to charge dust there to uh, burn up the afro. Gonna go for the grab. Afro fully gone now. Oh, beautiful burst bait there. Not gonna fully punish it, but that is a huge resource that Ultimate Wielder does not have anymore. Yo, oh! nice! Emperor is doing <laughs> He's doing miracles work here. He's keeping up the pressure, and Ultima cannot contest it. And here we go. Emperor going to go for the oh. grab. Tries to run up command grab. Oh, but the <laughs> hammer coming out of nowhere from the skies. All right. Duel two. Could Emperor be the heavy hitter that the Solstice team needs? Ultima firing back with his heavy pressure. Emperor's in the corner. This is not a good situation for Faust to be in. Okay, nice counter hit here for on Emperor's side. He's gonna try to jump in here. Does continue the combo. Unfortunately, that is gonna get a punish. Not a hard punish though on Ultimate Weird's side. Oh, there we go. Roman cancel. Sending. Oh. There we go. There are no items out. This is a tough situation for Emperor to be in neutral right now against Ooh. Kai. Someone who really dominates neutral, but getting that conversion. There it is. Some extra damage. Oh, this is looking very dicey right now for Emperor. Has to be careful. Does there get opened is. up by the low. All right. Match point. Let's see if Emperor can take another game off of Team Tempest. A Ooh. gold burst. Very nice. And a mini foul to start off the match. Okay. A really, and also has a lot of meter to go ahead and use. Goes for the grab here to avoid the uh, trumpet troops. Emperor showing off some nice offensive pressure here with an, oh, a full meter burning that Roman cancel though. Getting switched up, it's Ultima's turn right now. Okay, nice, catching the backdash there. Oh, Ultima still, have, still has burst. Okay, oh, blue Bur RC. Ooh, that was okay. There we go. The blue RC able to actually uh, get some hits in. This is literally one hit confirmed on either side. Oh, this is tough. Emperor cannot escape the corner right now. Ooh. In the shock state, doing all this chip Ooh. damage, and that's it. Ultimate wielder, looking really good. It's just like, yeah, we we're back on top. Let's just get it. <laughs> very, very nice. Again, um, Solstice team. He's just struggling for answers right now, but you know Tempest showing up and showing out. Maybe that this this might actually, be the new I mainstay. Actually, I think I think it's actually Tempest's team that's in danger. Solstice's team is where Ultimate Wielder is coming from. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So I, I get the I get the teams up all the time, but yeah, let's go Ultima. Very nice. Okay, we have our next challenger coming up. That is a nice. That is a that? nice thing. I that's actually nice was thing. really just thinking that right now. It's like a wooden, and he's got. Get the keys? Yeah, Man, it's looking really nice. pretty, actually. Uh, but in any case, uh, Ultimate Wilder definitely feeling themselves with that uh, with that win. Uh, that poor Faust not not gonna be in <laughs> anymore unless this is another yeah, Faust. This is another Faust. This is the gauntlet of Faust. This is the <laughs> Frosty Faustings gauntlet. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like if you've ever wanted to get practice against the Faust matchup, literally just go to Tempest's <laughs> team and be like, yo, what's everybody's tag so I can get the practice in, S please? Send them all my way. S just send them my way. I need that matchup practice. Just give me. All right, but it looks like we're going to do Eno Kai. This is going to be a very interesting set. Eno, a character who has just uh, honestly just offensive oppression of like just yeah. an onslaught of attacks. Um, I just threw every word I could out there, <laughs> but we are going straight into it. This is going to be an interesting match. And real quick, just want to shout out South Florida representing myself and uh, Ultimate Wielder here. We see you, Yosemel, over down there. We, we representing out here in Chicago. All right, Ultimate Wielder. Let's see, against another, oh no, okay, we're, uh, no, it, this, is is this is Eno. Uh, Goose. Yeah, Goose. All right, Goose versus Ultimate Wheeler. Both. It looks pretty even right now. A Ooh. nice counter hit and the Oki missing. The gold okay. burst getting blocked. Oh, and this is going to be Mix City right now with Eno Yo, and into the, wall the super. Break. Wall break super. Get Waking that. up with the stroke. That black oh. cat is definitely caught crossing Ultimate Wheeler's path right now, but he's got back on the offense. The first round being taken by Goose. Okay, Ultimate Wielder 
having to recover here. Has to figure out what Goose is doing in this matchup. Gets the Fooder Arc. Nice catch and with that Shock State, leaving some uh, plus frames on the side of Ultimate Wielder, but does get caught here with the Eno mix-up. Nice attempt to uh, interrupt the mix-up. Okay. All right, nice offense. That was a really quick cool confirm, but not to anything else. That Oki, super dangerous. Eno is in the Shock State right now, firing back with Oki of oh. her own, but missing the stroke the big tree. Okay, nice catch there. Tries to backdash away and get away from the Fooder Arc. Gonna get caught. Nice gold burst here from uh, Ultimate Wielder using the blue RC to try to prevent the escape from the corner. Using oh. purple RC to create a mix up. Okay, good blocks here from Ultimate Wielder and gets the second round. We are going to game three here. Let's see what Goose can let loose. He still has that burst. Just kind of throwing out, they're feeling each other out right now. Opening up Ultimate Wheeler in the corner. This is not looking too good for him. Nice jump, health. not gonna be able to capitalize. It does get the DP out. A nice reversal. Still Ultimate Wheeler seems like he is oh, in the defensive position. Can he find his way into the driver's seat? Oh, this is looking ugly right now on the side of Ultimate Wheeler using the R red RC to gain some momentum from the DP. Gonna bring out the shock. Okay, here we go. This is a lot of damage that Goose is going to have to take. Oh! oh, this is neck and neck right now. It's one mix up. It's one mix up. It's one mix up. Oh, oh! no. The side switch to take it. Uh, Ultima stays on. Ultima looking super hyped right now. Doing some work with the Kai <laughs> Kisuke. Uh, it, that that like switch where he just that like was so that was smart. so sick. I don't think I've ever seen any other Kai do that before. No, I that was so unique. That is definitely <laughs> that's definitely uh, a, such a big brain move. It's crazy because it's like Eno has the mix up, but Kai just had the mix up too. Not only that was Oki and the mix up at the same yep. time. You have to be <laughs> if you if you can't see that coming, you're just dead. You have to eat that and. Oh, it's my turn. Cool. And, awesome. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we got Sagi here leaving commentary. I don't know if I'm going to be doing solo commentary or not, but we will see here. Good luck. <laughs> Someone? Anyone? Huh? I'm up here. You know what? We'll we'll do we'll do solo commentary for now. Hold on. Let me let me put these chairs. If anyone wants to come and do, to do commentary with me, you're more than welcome. But for right now, I'm, I'm just sitting high and mighty right commentary? here. Yeah, come here. I got a seat right for you. I was doing the couch thing. I was going to do solo commentary. I'm glad you came in. How's it going? I'm doing all right. We should probably put on the headset before I start talking. <laughs> that might be helpful. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll do that again. How are you doing? I'm all right. You? I'm doing okay. I'm sunburned. I'm Raylan. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. All right. So our... Uh, Prior commentator, Saki, she is now on the stage. Raylan, um, R-A-I-L-Y-N. <laughs> She's been watching yeah, okay. all of these matches, so hopefully she can use that knowledge to potentially... I think I got it. Guy. I might have hit an extra key. Well, That's correct. Oh, all right. All okay. Right. We're on the big screen right now. So this, is, this has been quite difficult for Tempest, mm -hmm. right? Solstice has just thrown out all of their great options. They, it's, what is it, 6-2? I think that sounds right. It's 6 hmm? seven, seven, one. Seven, one. Oh, right, the wow. Kai player is the second one up. Right. And they've been literally <laughs> all of their heavy hitters. Tempest is mm -hmm. trying to find some, like, you know, equal grounds with this, but it's going to be a hard time for them to catch up. Absolutely. But as we have already seen, it only takes one player to make up a huge difference. Miracles uh, can happen. They can definitely happen. And hey, maybe we'll see Anji make a, make a miracle today. Anji Mito, let's see what Saki is capable of here. Let's All, right. All right. Some nice neutral. Some oh. Good old ground, grounded footsies at full screen. Nobody really eager to commit. All right, there here we, we go. go. Some nice damage at Ooh. the beginning, dancing through, but Burst is going to put Saki in the corner. This is going to be really difficult against Ultimate Wheeler. Going high, going high, going high, going throw. And getting a quick Oki, still in the corner. Gonna have to burst out, jump out, and back in the corner again. It's like I'm playing musical up. chairs in here. <laughs> With that nice Oki Ultimate Wielder, 
He's showing himself to be an offensive threat here. Saki just trying to find that counter hit, getting that big damage. And Anji gonna get the Ko, get the Shitsu Oki, trying to backdash, maybe catch a DP. And over here we are, back to full screen. Catch him with a jump slash. Here's a knockdown. One more stun dipper is gonna do the round. And you know what? Saki was doing pretty well there. Mm -hmm. I think she just needs to keep that energy going. Ultima showing himself to be an absolute monster right now. Oh, but an no. anti air is going to take it, getting that little bit of chip damage. Saki is in the lead. Not able to get a good confirm off of that Ko, but hey, any, anything helps. And here we go. Another Fujin gets counter hit. Run up throw, the Kai special. Sun Edge Oki. Oh, Raw DP. This is gonna oh, lead to, no. Could this be? Could this be a wall break? But he's going to burst out of there. Not At just the last yet. Second. Oh. All right. PRC is nothing. The old classic. And here we go. In the corner. Another co. Oh, there's the Oki oh. right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gold there. burst goes wide. Saki really trying to get this. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. No ride the lightning. So no Oki. Anji does have the meter advantage for just a few seconds. This is neck and neck right now oh, on the no. counter hit. Is she going to be chipped out? Oh. Okay. Burning the okay. red RC there. A yellow RC firing the back. run up throw. We get a, uh. we get a hug. These, both, both of these players are from uh, Southern Florida, I believe, mm -hmm. are or just the Florida area in general. That was a good, that was good. Yeah, good stuff. That was good. All right, well, we are going to continue going on oh, with this set. Oh, yeah. yes. Here you go. So, Solstice <laughs> still is going strong. I believe this is what eight eight one now. Eight one. This is insane. You need you need an incredible, immaculate player, someone mm -hmm. with perfect inputs every time. But even we're not even halfway through the roster. We don't know who's up. Well, I think I know one other player on there. King Crooks, very good Nago main. All right. Or at least right. from what I saw in bracket when I got three out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to see where they're going. There is someone up right there mm -hmm. who's planning to contest. All right. all right. I heard a Kai, which we know okay. is in the match. I didn't hear another character named me yet. Kai so well, That'd be cool. Oh, Potemkin. Oh, oh, man, I've always wanted to say uh, <laughs> HPV on <laughs> mic. This is, this is my first time commentating mm -hmm. Strive. I'm from the Smash community. Mm -hmm. it is, you guys have been super welcoming. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I, <laughs> I've been playing Strive since it came out. I got into Guilty Gear over mm -hmm. COVID and everything. You guys have been so warm. The FGC is so nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's been my experience, too. I only started playing during COVID. Very nice. But we're going to get right into it. Ultimate oh. Wielder going up right. against... Oh! Armor's through. Oh, my. Multi the charge stun edge gets him. No, you, can, you think you can overhead? That's not happening. Oh, that's a scary situation. Potemkin being right up in your face. Locks the cross up, does, gets hit by the stun edge, and then waiting for the burst. Not gonna bite. Ultima doing a really good Get job of keeping Potemkin away and not in the afraid corner. of the plus frames. This time gets counter hit off the plus frames. That should be a wall break. Not doesn't even need it. Just that's the round. He saves the burst for the second round, but you have to be careful. You can't let Ultimate Wielder get away with this oh. offensive pressure right now. Mm -hmm. But even so, Potemkin is scary. You you give him an inch and he will take a mile. There's the burst finally. Atomic Collider going in. Stopping a little too close with the hammer falls, unfortunately. And that's a big wall bounce combo. Not into wall break. Gets counted oh, no. by the food arc, And ride here it comes. Ride the lightning. Ride the spark. All, All right. right. Atomic. Still got 50 meter to work with. BRC oh, no. mix oh, up. Oh, no. Could this be that? it? Nope. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Wish the charge stun edge Oki, but doesn't need it. A very quick match. Wielder really showing his prowess in that mm -hmm. matchup. He was like, I'm not letting Potemkin go anywhere mm -hmm. near me. And people talk about the tier list in this game all the time, but all we've seen hey, from... He's a fair and honest mid-tier. Absolutely. I mean, listen, he can keep you in the corner for like five minutes, and he's got mm -hmm. Ride the Lightning, which breaks of course. breaks wall from across the stage, but he's mm -hmm. fair and balanced mid-tier. Completely guys. fair. Completely fair. I mean, why do you think he runs up throws so much? He doesn't have anything else. <laughs> listen, all I'm saying is that it's just the heavy damage, the high damage that the series is known for, you mm -hmm. know? He has that. He can execute that. But for real, though, Kai is 
like the best of all worlds in Guilty Absolutely. Gear Strive. He can do, he can adapt to any play style. He's really malleable, almost like Play-Doh. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this is a 9-1, not looking too good for Tempest right here. Mm -hmm. Solstice sitting high and mighty with eight more <laughs> players in the back. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine the disposition that Tempest is in right now? Yeah, I don't think this is quite a 10 v 10. I think we're just going until we run out of players. <laughs> uh, all right. I, Are we? We're not. We're not here to have a serious time. We're here to have a good time. We're here to have a good time. You know what? Every all's fair in love and war. And right now, this is more love than war. Well, what's the difference? True. True. You can okay. see everyone over there. Oh, did they? What? Oh, there's, oh, oh they're swapping, swapping characters. Swapping characters. Swapping controllers. Swapping controllers. Yeah, the controllers. Swap. For some people, there's no difference. <laughs> but we're going from a. Oh, that's actually a really cool hitbox that yeah. you've got there. All right. Yeah, it's great seeing all the different, different controllers. controller customization. I'm boring. I just have a I have a fighting command. Yeah, I, I got a friend <laughs> I came in with a hitbox that had Neo Yokio art. Really? Yeah. Something I saw that was really interesting. There was a guy with his own hitbox brand. It was mm -hmm. a D-pad combined with the buttons of Ooh. a. And I I've been hankering because I love the buttons of mm -hmm. the arcade stick, but I I can't do the stick because I have a yeah. like a wine. It, uh, was it a wine glass? Absolutely, technique. yeah. Um, and I'm more of a pad player, mm -hmm. but so something like that, I'm definitely going to look into that. Mm -hmm. And it's cool seeing all the stickers where people have come from and stuff. I have a friend here, Jackie, who has had like a bunch of top players sign her uh, mm -hmm. uh, sign her uh, fight stick. It's so cool. Nago Ryuki all right. coming out the big grown man damage. Yep. Kai has to work for that damage. Nago Ryuki, not so much. He slaps you once and then you're in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get hit once mid screen and then suddenly you get wall broken and all your health is gone. <laughs> it's it's like I blacked out. What happened? What, what? It's a nightmare. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if this nightmare can contest. Oh, oh Garbo. Garbo. I was actually playing this guy in friendlies. Let's see if he can keep up. He was, he right. was dominating me recently. Mm -hmm. well, let's see if he can contest right. Ultimate Wielder right now. Ultimate Wielder is just swinging that sword and doing damage. They're just going to trade bursts here. I mean, I respect it. Huh? Ultimate kind of knowing what to okay, do here, okay. keeping Naga Ryuki out. They're just both playing the range game, which is, oh, big counter hit 6H. Look at that all is that two damage. <laughs> Grown man damage. Okay. Tries to back dash, gets hit by the food door again, in the corner again, but here's another counter hit. Doesn't get the follow up. Oh, but the after image is going to break through that projectile there. Stun out his block, but Roman cancel means he gets to keep pressure. Text the throw. Oh, nice. wow. Amazing comeback from Garbo with that offensive pressure, but Ultima is not letting up. Garbo's blood management is, I'm gonna be honest, I was talking with him, he says he doesn't play Strive much. This is better blood management than I was expecting from someone who doesn't play Strive much. Oh, but it's He's still there. Great. There you go. Someone that everyone forgets is that when that blood rage, when, when the blood meter goes up, that means the range on his sword goes up too. Yep. So you cannot ever underestimate the length of that giant sword. Yep, Garbo has been consistently keeping that blood gauge in the top segment, avoiding the pop, but keeping the ba the big normal. Oh, but here's a counter hit in the corner. Not gonna get the stun dipper hit. You're gonna have to spend the meter to keep it safe. Garbo gonna spend the YRC. Immediate burst from Ultima Wielder and the burst back from Garbo. Oh no! Counter hit six H. You don't get anything off of that mid screen. Garbo, well, we are back in the corner. Garbo is playing it incredibly patiently, but getting opened up in the corner. This is going to game three. All right, let's rock. What do we got for round starts? We got a DP round start and completely whips. Hey, so oh, and here's the command grab. Now Garbo just gets to go crazy for the next five seconds, and I have to worry about a thing in the world. There's that Beyblade. Except the DP. Firing back with the DP oh. and a fully charged. No burst. You're eating all of this. Boom. And here we go. Stun edge, meter, YRC. But from oh, the DP goes wide. That's a big counter hit. Oh. Not going to get the full confirm, but still, that's a heck of a lot of damage. And oh, no. Garbo down to a sliver of health. Has oh, the burst. Spends the gold burst. This is it. Right, this is going to decide it. YRC plus frames. Keeping that pressure up as long as he can. And Garbo. Oh, no. Getting opened getting up hit. with the Oki. Oh, oh, and that the is it. The trade is going to finish it off. One more game for fair and balanced Mr. Kiesk. <laughs> All right. Well, I believe that is 10.
one. Ten one. Ten one in Solstice's favor with two players. They only can two players stop that them? Tie. Can anybody stop them? Anybody at all? Do we t do we have any challengers? Any daredevils out there? <laughs> Oh, man. Right, who we got, who we got he is sitting next? there. He, he's eyeing the competition. He's <laughs> well, what are you looking at me for? I'm not going to play you. <laughs> I might. I'm, I'm, Depends I'm, on I'm, when I get called. I'm, I'm on that list. I, well, actually, I think I'm on Solstice's team, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm on Tempest's team. Uh, all right. We might have to kill each other. <laughs> Hopefully, it it, It's not personal. We could, it's we just could business. commentate our match as it goes on. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, I yeah, mean, hey. Ultima is doing, like, work mm. right now. Yeah, absolutely. And same with uh, Larry, too. Mm -hmm. They were both carrying, I think, I think they're both 5-5. Five, five. I think they won five so. games. They're just shredding up the competition right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to play Kai. He is such a fun character. He has a lot of complicated or tricky things that he needs to do in order to get played to the fullest potential, but it's always incredibly satisfying, both to watch and to play. All right, we're going for another okay. Potemkin. Could we be seeing that high damage, those command grabs, or could Ultima just box him out? And he's already demonstrated he knows mm -hmm. the matchup, but you never know. Everyone plays characters differently, mm -hmm. so we have to see how this is going to wind up. Yep, you got the character matchup, and then you got the player matchup, and both of those are equally important. And here we are, Cousin Lewis, starting off with the slide head, just like our last Potemkin. All right, but Ultima. Oh, a bit more willing to challenge with the fast buttons, it seems. Oh. The flick is coming. Oh, oh no. no! The burst gets taken and ultimately able to drop the combo, but still able to get the wall break. Cousin Lewis down to just a little bit of health. Um, okay. Spends the BRC just to try and get something. He's showing his absolute oh, counter hit 2H. No, no follow up. Oh, DPs, the Mega Fist, and that's going to do it. I mean. Soul, this is just a showcase of Soul's absolute dominance. All right, there's the far slash, getting the counter hit. I, I don't think I can count on my fingers the amount of times Ultima, Ultima has one neutral in his game. Mm -hmm. This man is immaculate, and he's using Kai to the fullest extent of his abilities. Absolutely. All right, there you go. Flicks the stun it. Kai is still kind of in the corner. All right, the trade. Oh, the stun dipper goes wide. There's another 50 meter spent. There's the burst. Cousin Lewis Cousin really Lewis. depending on these five oh, keys to get him out of that situation. There's a round. Big man, big meaty man. Big meaty man doing big meaty damage with his big meaty hands. And there come the big meaty hands right there. The Mega Fist, the Stun Dipper goes wide. They just kind of pass each other in the air, I guess. Oh, oh and the counter hit 2H. Oh. That's so much damage. Going to finish it off with a jump slash. No ride the lightning just yet. He's saving that meter. He knows, but he doesn't want to get in Potemkin's range. All right. Lands the overhead, doesn't get a combo off of it. Just barely has the meter to throw and cancel that stun dipper. Oh, and that should do it. Yeah. Cousin Lewis falling yet again, or not yet again, but another one has fallen. <laughs> another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Who can dethrone him? Who? Who can? Hmm? Uh, All right, we got. Right. Here comes Daredevil. We got our next player coming right up. What do we got coming here? All right, so, so I've seen. Kai, Faust, Potemkin, Nagaryuki. Oh, yeah. I, I just remembered. We're playing on the Baiken patch. Baiken is legal. Yep. Nobody's played Baiken yet. Well, <laughs> you can blame him. She's only... I That's think everyone here probably hasn't even labbed her yet or hasn't gotten the chance to. I've played, I don't know, probably about 100 games with her so far. Really? Yeah. Dang, that's I, crazy. Maybe not 100, but... Somewhere 70 plus. I ran a really long set with an Axel the other day. Lost every single game, but I had a lot of fun. That was another Potemkin. Another Potemkin. Another Potemkin. <laughs> oh, boy. Are we going to see the command throw fine? Uh, I, 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 at this point, I think, <laughs> I think Tempest is just kind of throwing players until <laughs> until it gets figured out. Just, you know, just throw things at the wall and see see what sticks. Yeah, just just sometimes <laughs> that is the best strategy. All right, but who knows? Maybe Jack Lantern Jack Lantern Lantern. things off with a. I think that's a far slash. No, that's a that's a that's a heavy slash. Let's see. Look, but Tempkin just uses his big meaty hands for everything. I can never tell the difference. Jack All right, bursts out of the LG. Doesn't want to take it. Run up six P. Immediate combo. That's going to wall break. Ooh. Struggling in neutral right now. <laughs> Jacko hasn't really had the chance to throw out anything just yet. And Ultima oh. just staying at a difficult distance where Potemkin can't even deal with it. Almost a perfect there. Just Almost. got hit like once. But you saw the amount of damage All it right, took from one hit. to hit. Jack-O-Lantern slowly walking forward. Trying to play at that 
at the edge of the range of his big normal, gets thrown the Kai special once again. All right, trades with the 5K. I, I think that's respectable. You can see he's using that far slash to keep him at range. A nice wall Ooh. combo. Look at this. Big combo. Whoa. That is the biggest air combo I've ever seen from a Kai. Look at that. The absolute finesse coming from Ulta. Ulta and a gold, gold burst. burst with the positive. For when you just don't have enough meter. <laughs> oh, okay. Respects the arse, respects the threat of the meter and just doesn't punish it, but doesn't need to punish it. And that is one more down. Wow. Again, yet another one bites the dust. This is, I, I think we're going to see another big pop off once, once <laughs> Ultima is dethroned, but that, that's an if. Yeah. It, that's not a when, that's an if. Yep. We got, we, we have to get past that barrier before we see any swing in the other direction. And so far, that's proving to be one heck of a wall. And Tempest is just watching this absolute mountain getting raised, the path ahead of them mm. so strong. This is still one, two. I don't I don't think I even know the number anymore. It's above 10. It's, it's what, definitely 12? Above 10. 12. Say again? I think it's 11. I thought I saw 11 for the last match, so it would be 12 here. All right. Well, oh. It's, it's 11, 11 now. 10. Okay. Like it's 11 now. That's still an... A uh, pretty, you know. I think I recognize that controller. I want to say this is King Crooks. Mm -hmm. Well, who knows when it, Tempest is going to throw out their That's secret the weapon? Perhaps they were waiting for game twenty, but they're like, "No, <laughs> we got to, we got to throw it now." Mm -hmm. And again, who knows who's still behind Solstice's team? Mm -hmm. Absolute barrage and army still left. Absolutely. It almost seems this is like far from over. Solstice has Tempest almost bottlenecked at this mm -hmm. point with like the lead that they have. Yep, this is King Crooks. King so we got Nagori Yuki versus Kai again. King Crooks. Oh, just going way in. Dashing all over the place. There's a counter hit close slash. And now here we are at max range where oh. Nagori Yuki's buttons are superior. And there's the command grab. He backs off, tries to bait. Oh, the oh. gold burst. Burns the okay. burst. But Ultima is back on the offensive here. Text the throw. And gets the counter hit 6 H and Nagori Yuki started swinging. Oh, a nice Ooh. purple RC into a conversion, a good ground combo, and a heavy and counter hit. Do it. Look at that. That's 6 H, so much damage. King Crooks looking pretty good out here, but a counter Ooh. hit to start off the match all the way to the corner with that awesome, <laughs> the impressive Good old Oki. fair and balanced Mr. Keys just getting corner carry all the way from mid screen. And now here's a wall break. Lands the DP, lands the air slash, and immediately burns the meter on the low. King Crooks is in a difficult position right now. Ultima Ooh. gets the overhead, but no conversion, no more meter. He's gone into and a counter hit. This is going to be so much damage. He has no blood. Oh, oh back but this is the command, command bro. Oh, that was a bit of an awkward PRC, so not able to get the conversion. And another the one health grab. warrior. The one health warrior. King Crooks. Oh, missing the, the wire. Yo, but the burst. This is neck Ultima and neck. Forcing the burst. Yo! And 5H takes it. Finally, Ultima finally dethroned by King Crooks. Holy mackerel. Incredible play. Incredible. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm at a loss for words. That happened mm -hmm. so fast. Yeah. I was expecting something to be more patient, but they were at each other's throats mm -hmm. from the get-go. Yeah. These are two long-range characters, but are we really playing Guilty Gear if we're not just punching each other in the face constantly? It's a con it's, it Hold forward. Just hold forward. You know? Who needs to block when you're hitting block? the other person? You're going to get that negative penalty if you block. That positive, the positive penalty? You want that. You mm -hmm. want to invest in that. All right. Who is up right now? The more meter you have, the more hand you can go. Who's going to be <laughs> Solstice showing off that they have a ton of heavy hitters? <laughs> Potentially, could this be the one who is by those the rest of the competition? Yeah, there, there's a there's a very long list, Monk Unit. <laughs> All right, so we get to hear them setting up right now. I'm very anxious to see could King be <laughs> Tempest's secret weapon. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got here? Okay, I'm seeing a chip behind that uh, button Ooh. screen. Are we actually getting a chip? Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that right. option ever. I, I haven't. I haven't either. Oh, okay. This. 
Um, this is going to be something. So, uh, Chip is made of rice paper. Yes. Uh, and Nagaryuki is made of, like, industrial cement. We have literally the most fragile character in the game going up against the Dual most one. defense. Yeah. He, he's literally, got the his most character help. archetype. I can't, on I the can't find the right phrase. His character archetype on the Strive website is one shot. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely going to be shown off here yep. if Wally even just, like, falters in his neutral right yep, now. But that's if Wally gives. Oh, okay. Hits the 2H. It's not a counter. He doesn't get a conversion. Here's the thing about this matchup. If Nagoriyuki gets a hit, Chip just dies. But Nagoriyuki has to get that hit, and he doesn't have great defensive options. All right. Yeah, King There's Cook. the grab. He's in the corner, tries to go for the wall mix, but gets a little too fancy and gets slapped out of the air for his troubles. And there's a counter hit. Oh, Decent big conversion. Damage. Wally in the corner. Wally is DRCs. He just, he just continues to jump. This is Chip. He doesn't have to come down ever. All right. Back to neutral. The defense of a nice tech. Camera blade and oh, gets a hit. All right. One more la hit lands. King Crooks is playing at the edge of the blood gate, but just needs that one more hit, and that is the round. Yeah, th this is more like 20 versus 20. But you know what? This is all fun. So, you know, we don't want We just yeah. want to see some awesome matches up in here. And okay. with, with oh, and the trade gives King Crooks a conversion, gives him Oki, plays a bit cautious around the DP. Oh, and there's the DP. Whips and oh, gets the no. burst. Wally being put dead? on the ropes. Is this dead? I don't dead? think this is dead. Will it kill? Wait. No, this is going to kill. Yeah, because Wall. You're out of here. All right. There we go. King Crook starting to take it back. All right. We're going to go on to our next set here. King, you know what? Looking pretty good. Two yeah. sets in a row. This is the first for uh, mm -hmm. Tempest, I think. Uh, again, secret weapon coming in clutch. Nagaruki doing a massive amount of damage. People complain about this character for a reason. <laughs> He's got the... I didn't even... Did he use the, the spin at all? Yeah. In neutral? I did. Okay. Um, yeah, he got a big counter hit off of that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I, I get that mixed up with the uh, the spin kick that he does. I think that's... Mm -hmm. Is that 2K or 2D? I think it's 2D. It's 2D. All right. The one where he just kind of goes around in a circle and then hits yeah. him with his foot. It's it, Honestly, when I look at Nagaruki, it's just fear. So sometimes yeah. it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just afraid. I'm kind of the same way. And uh, when Nagaruki looks at me, all he sees is red, so he's just going to come at me and just hack and slash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the old bull versus bullfighter matchup. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we got a new Daredevil showing up. Fucking his controller. So mm -hmm. Nagaruki versus, oh, what do you think is the right character counterplay here? The right characters. I know Nagaruki struggles against happy chaos zoning. Right. Um... Other than Jacko? that, I think... Jacko? Jacko? I don't know. I think Jacko can do okay, but I haven't seen enough Jacko to make a real good judgment on it. Honestly, just go Biken. No one knows the matchup. <laughs> just saying. No one That's knows the true. matchup against Biken. Another chip, potentially. No one knows the matchup against Biken, but that does go the other way. Nobody knows the Biken matchup against anybody. I think Sol does quite well against Nagoriyuki. Ramlethal Ram should do very well against Nagoriyuki. Yes. A character that can give Nagoriyuki a little bit of trouble with that long range. Nagoriyuki yep. has a big sword, but Ram has two bigger ones. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this is a matchup where both characters are kind of doing the same thing. They're just getting a hit, they're taking you to the corner, and they are going to break the wall. There is no bones about it. This is going to happen. And with, oh, oh, is this just, is this just Solstice? Okay. <laughs> The All right. Rage of and here we go. Leo, In, yes. oh, okay, no. Rage, rage of Leo, yes. <laughs> All but being put oh, into the, the counter corner immediately. And, the, and there's oh. the command grab. Oh. <laughs> no, Goes you for can't. a bit too much frame kill. Gets thrown. Nice tech. This All right. And now here we are. Ramlethal pressure in the corner. Just going to throw. Only Doesn't has... have the sword picked oh. up. There it, there it is. Oh, the YRC oh, blocks no. it. Forced to spend the burst. King Crooks is out of the corner, though. And it's getting in, and there's the command grab. That's going to do it. All right. Zato does well versus Nako. I can see that. That makes sense. Oh, tries to dash forward, but immediately gets hit. And here we go. Now we have a ram in the corner, and there's a hit. Not going to take anything off of that. Just Ooh. All right. Plus frames. Rage is pushing right now. He really wants to get some damage. And now on they just Nago. traded positions. Nagoriyuki going to throw him. Sit down. And here we go. Ram sitting with a bar of meter right now. Will the dash up command grab again? BRC and just gonna get hit, yeah. and that's the round. 
All right. Hi, Madractos. How you doing? <laughs> So now that this is over, I'm going to take a little bit of break from commentary for a little bit. I'm going to swap off and see if someone else wants to step up into the commentator's All right. booth. I'll be back, hopefully, um, to watch this 30 versus 30, I guess. <laughs> um, but I've been sunburnt. Thank you guys really mu very much, um, and I'll be back later. Right. So thank you guys. It was good commentating with you. Yeah, it's good, too. I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna tag in, but all right. Uh, anybody? All right. Looks like I got somebody tagging in. Okay, we got. It. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. Huh? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you came up first. So you might as well. So, you go ahead and sub in next. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And how are you today? I'm great. How about you? Jersey Jerry, that is? Yeah. You can just right. call me Jerry. Jer all right, Jerry. Um, doing all right. Kind of yeah. waiting on my turn, hoping, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hoping to bust out the fan man. Shh, don't tell no one. <laughs> yeah. I do love watching Anji, unless I'm fighting him. <laughs> In which case, I just really hope I don't get hit by a counter hit Cole. Yeah, probably his best move, honestly. Mm -hmm. The Geo right. into the Giovanna. All right. I think that's the first one we've seen on screen on stream here. It is. All right. Ooh, counter hit immediately, but doesn't get the full confirm. And oh, King Crooks just going for the full far slash nice grab there, though. Tries for the command grab, whiffs it, and there's Biohazard out of the corner. Gonna get that pressure. King Into the Cook, overhead. King Cook's forced to burst out after that overhead. All right. Plus frames into Geo Pressure, into plus frames. And there's a counter hit 2S. King Crook's gonna play a bit cautious with his blood. Into throw, and there's, oh. We just keep switching positions. Oh, and there's the pop from King Crook's. Biohazard now just gets a lot of... Oh, no. There's a Roman cancel. Uh, Puts his mask back on. And then 6H to finish it off. Red RC throw. Lots of damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. King Good Crooks burst. just playing ninja here. Vanishing left, right, center. Oh. <laughs> That's a new one. Dash up into nothing. Ooh, and big command grab. Wake up command grab. And tries for it again. Just goes for a 2K2B afterwards. And one more hit. Oh, doesn't get the pickup. And there we go. That'll do it. Biohazard getting eliminated. God, that, Crooks. that Beyblade mixes me every time. Absolutely. It's so hard to deal with. And it's zero on block, so you just got to guess after it, too. Very, very true. The Kai's thing, but the OC is so good. Yeah, the soundtrack for the Guilty Gear games. That's really the thing that drew me in. I'm a huge fan of heavy metal, so all the all of the tracks I heard from Guilty Gear X or Guilty Gear XX, all the past games. Plus R had some bangers too. Plus R had some bangers. Holy Order Soul theme. Mm hmm Just immaculate. I think Writhe in Pain is my personal pick of, the, of that one. game. Although if we include the Korean OST, Robokai's theme from the Korean OST is so good. I've actually not heard it, so I'm going to have to go look that up afterwards. Mm -hmm. Get him uh, I don't know what the teams are. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody knows what's going on. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, it's Solstice versus Tempest, but beyond that, nobody knows what's going on. Okay. It's more quick setup. Having a bit of trouble with the controller over there. Can I? Better when you have no clue what's happening. You know you're right. If you don't know what's happening, you can just cheer for whatever's going on. Absolutely. I just like to watch good Guilty Gear. Absolutely. What are, what are we here for if not to watch good Guilty Gear? Ooh, is that an Axel? All right. Oh, man. Here we go. This matchup, 
I think is going to be hugely dependent on who gets the first hit. Yep, because if Nagoriyuki can kind of like get inside of Axel's range mm -hmm. and he has the ability to with his sword, mm -hmm. uh, might be might be uh, some trouble for Axel. But Axel's yep. got those long range normals that just keep people out. All right. Oh, the burst goes wide. Axel doesn't. Axel Sparkle Maki does not get the punish. And there's a counter hit six take into knockdown. Another oh. burst going wide. Ooh, we're just playing burstless here, aren't we? And the 2-8. Oh. All right, run up 2K. Tries to dust. No luck. Oh. Dash up. Gets checked by the 5D. And then a 5K or 2K. Going to take the round. King Crook is just running the game here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the oh, counter hit DP. That's, oh, doesn't get the full confirm, but that is still a lot of damage. OK, now here we are, playing neutral. Ooh, All right, there's a hit. Staggers. Mm -hmm. Stagger pressure can be t difficult to deal with if you don't know it's coming. There's a BRC, just going to hit him with the fist. And, oh, all, right. all right, the DP is going to take it. I was watching for chip damage, but it doesn't seem like the chip damage was needed. It was not. That Beyblade into DP is just so deceptive. It's so deceptively mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. So fast. Nagori Yugi canceling moves into other ways. Always just so difficult to keep up with. You think you've got the advantage, and then suddenly out comes another move. Or suddenly he's not there anymore. He's just in your face, out of your face, in your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a sword there. He's such an expressive character. And yeah, I, I complain about Nagoro Yuki, but he's, he's still really cool. Oh, I yeah, love no. watching him. I complain about the character every time I see him, but I think he's <laughs> really cool. Mm -hmm. He's really interesting. Absolutely. He just is a pain to fight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Nago mirror. That's got to be fun. I think that uh, they've been setting up for this. They've been sending out different mm -hmm. different players. I think it's it's time to test the the mirror matchup. Absolutely. Big man with sword versus big man with sword. Uh, they gotta set buttons. Uh. <laughs> okay. He's gonna. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're getting in. This looks like they're playing. All right. OK, here we go. King Crooks pushing Dewberry to the corner, just canceling it like crazy. Dewberry's got, oh, King Crooks pops. And then Dewberry just gets the command grab that punish, and that's that. So oh. All right. Oh. oh, my goodness. Just couldn't get that last hit, and now King Crooks. Oh. The 2P. <laughs> Tries to catch something, but Dewberry just, man, just waited out long enough. <laughs> Good old 5K trading. Ooh. Okay. Bad backdash from Dewberry. King Cooks. Oh, the jump K into the command grab. Ooh, that the combo full corner is conversion. saucy. That could kill. Say, Jim, will it kill? <laughs> I think that's enough with the wall damage. Oh, no. It is not. Just barely surviving. Going to BRC back just to get a bit of space, Ooh. but dives to the clone. Huh? OK. Quick 2S counter hit. Nothing off of it. There we go. There's a big, big combo. Going to burst him into the corner and a huge counter hit right back. That's a wall break. Not going to have the super, but. Here comes a positive bonus. Both players sitting at very high blood. They're not really eager to do a whole lot except to swing that sword. All right. Dubai lands a hit, gets the fast RC. King Cross runs up, command grabs, and here we go. Where's the wire RC? And now King Cross has a knockdown. BRC back. Into Beyblade. And the counter hit Beyblade, this could finish it. And the oh command my god, the throw. command grab. Oh man, King Crooks is so good with those. He is running it. That dash in the command grab is just mm -hmm. so. It's hard to deal with mm -hmm. because you don't know if it's going to be dash into the, into the Beyblade, yeah. dash into the DP. Yeah, dash it's into a the command huge grab. It's crazy. throw mix up, and you guess wrong. You you lose so much. It's so much. Damage. Whether it's in health or in Nagori Yuki Blood Gauge. It is very, very wild. He just 50 50s you, and if you don't guess right, you better pray. 
Potemkin 6P? That, Unfortunately, that I think hand? that's going to get a counter hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Guilty Gear Strive Top 8 is already done. Yes, that was last night. The official Frosty Faustings tournament finished last night. This is the after party. We are doing a team exhibition, just best of ones all the way until everybody on one team is eliminated. Should be uploaded soon, though, if, uh, if mm -hmm. you missed it last night. So um, should be looking for there that. There should also be a VOD on BG Callisto's stream, I believe. That is true. That top eight was wild. If you didn't catch it, go back and watch it. It was definitely uh, definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, had somebody in the crowd tell me it was the most Mario Party top eight they've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> Which is one heck of a way to describe what happened. You're not wrong. There was a considerable amount of BM mm. going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, the, the Twitch channel was BG Callisto, if I remember correctly. You are correct. All right. Say again? Okay. Okay. I was told there's a 24-hour period until it gets put on YouTube. So if you want to wait for the YouTube, it should be up tomorrow for sure. Oh. Is that a Kai? Is that a Kai? Are we seeing another Kai versus Nago? I think they uh, had him swap sides. Oh, yeah. Yep, I just saw. I just noticed. King Crooks did get put on player two side. Uh, did he get mixed in rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, looks like it is a Kai. Yeah, change the CPU level. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll help. <clears throat> okay. We got Swordman versus Swordman. Whose sword is bigger? Nagoriyuki. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's no contest. That thing is huge. All right, and here we go. King Crooks in immediately gets the command Lots grab after the momentum. And oh, tries to bait the burst, but it's still close enough for that to hit. Ooh. I'm Six. questioning if we're watching this in 3x speed because he has got <laughs> all the pressure and big counter hit there. And the into 5D. The dust. I'm, oh, I'm sick man. to my stomach. <laughs> what a mix. King Crooks, what are you doing? Winning the game. Oh, gets counter hit off of the Fuderak. And here we go. There's a Kaioki. Not going to take anything off it. It's a run-up throw. And now he's going for the max range pressure. King Crooks just holding down back, waiting for it to end. And now here's the chance. Good defense as well. Not only does he have all the pressure in the world, but he's blocked all of that. Yeah. Yeah, King Crooks' defense has been great. Oh, a counter hit on the jump out. That, I think that's going to be the far hit. Yep. And there's the that, wall stick. That is. That continues? Yep. Oh. Yep. If you land, if you land the super far enough away, it doesn't get the full hit. But against the wall, that will bounce them off the wall. And make the Here's the dragon install. All right. Stun dipper. And here we go. Fooder arc. Here comes the stun edge. Super jumps over it. There's a 6 Oh, and there's a counter hit. Not enough damage to kill. Now the pressure. King Crooks is running low on blood, but gets the trade, and that's going to finish it. That's what we would call a GameStop trade. <laughs> yeah, that isn't a very good trade for God. <laughs> Getting completely scammed out of that. Unfortunately. And again, really good play from King Crux. It's just, it's just been player after player just running a train. I haven't seen too much back and forth yet, but yeah, it's, it it's been like that for both teams. We've yeah. had one person just run no. through like five, six, seven matches and then mm -hmm. lose, and then that next person also. All right. And so we got, I believe that's Reverend Peter Popoff. Which is a very good screen name. <laughs> I'm jealous. Don't. 
I think he's another big Ryuki player. I'm not 100% certain. I am not either. Yeah, Reverend Peter Popoff, a.k.a. CMAL5. Nagori Yuki is fighting bots. Uh. Okay. And yep, we do have the Nago Mirror. The Nago Mirror, yet again. And in we go. Go for the fist bump, gets mixed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just do something. Once again, I'm going to get the big damage confirmed. Ooh, that was good. Doesn't quite get the punish, but oh, and there's a command grab from King Crush. He's going to be able to do whatever he wants here. Good check. And the counter 2 is going to burst out immediately. And again with the check. Everyone Peter pop off, doing a great job at keeping King Crush in check, but unfortunately, going to use up too much blood. Going to pop, tries to gold burst, doesn't get it. And that is a round for King Crux. And a big counter hit 2S. Going to get a slight confirm. King Re Crux gets in. Reverend again. Peter Popoff over here is definitely playing a little bit more defensively. But it's yep. working out a little bit for him. Yeah. Yeah. Again, getting some great checks. And here we go. There's the pop. Unfor okay. King Crux not getting up on it. But getting the pressure. And there's the YRC. The mask is back on, and now that's empty blood, but the counter hit Beyblade almost finishes the round with punishes the 2H, punish and there. that is it. Good, good, good with punish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nagori Yuki, one of those characters that can be with punish very easily, but can also get the with punishes very easily. Just as easily. That sword has so much range, especially when if you're managing your blood properly mm -hmm. and getting, getting as close to level 3 as possible without popping your blood. Mm -hmm. That range increase is incredible. It really is. I've been counter hit by that more times than I can than I'm willing to count. <laughs> I just don't want to think about it. It's happened, okay. It, don't ask me how many times. I don't remember. I have to forget or else I can't sleep at night. It's like seven hundred and thirty seven. <laughs> oh no. You know down to the number. Can't let go of it, can you? Never gonna give you a <laughs> All right. We have. Let's see if we can get somebody to beat the Snagoriki finally. I, I shouldn't know. be cheering against him because I'm on that's the my team. team. I was about to say I'm on the Snagos <laughs> team. I'm 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 keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not I not no speaking God. on the matter. <laughs> I fear no god. I, I will cheer against them. Okay. Giovanna. We got the Geo Naga matchup again. I think this is probably the closest mm -hmm. to a, to an even matchup, in my opinion. Yeah, I think I can see that. Just with uh, Geo's speed and plus frames. Yeah. If she can get in, obviously. Giovanna has excellent stagger pressure and can also can get whiff punishes almost as easily as Nagoriyuki because of the dash momentum augmenting her range. But here we are, big counter hit 6H in the corner. And King Krug's just going back and forth, gonna pop, but the red RC gives DCG enough time to punish. Oh, plenty of time to see that overhead coming with the freeze as he puts the mask on. Now King Krug's just keeping it burst safe. Doesn't get the round finished, but DCG, no chance to burst out of that. And that is one more round for King Crux. Round start DP gets a counter hit. That is going to be so much damage and not quite a wall break. I usually see that wall break when that happens to Big me. Big whip punish. Mm -hmm. Like I said. Oh, and the stagger pressure catches King Crooks pressing a button. And one more counter hit for the road. And here we go, DCG. Just going plus frames and the plus frames and the 5D. Gonna finish the and round. He's got those routes. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, when you have 100 meter, you can go for that. Oh, round start DP gonna get punished. Oh, just too far for the command grab from King Crooks. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's another grab. command grab. And catches him reaching, punishes the whiff grab. And one more hit. Okay, one more hit. We'll do it. BRC's backwards, and the slow overhead gives him time to 5P. I'm done. Wow. That was incredible. I, I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach. <laughs> that's, that's gross. <laughs> and the Roman cancels in this game are so cool. There's so much stuff you can do. The more I play this game, the more I realize I need to work with Roman cancels if I want a chance to get better. Yep, yeah, they're a really cool mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing a lot of Blaze Blue, mm -hmm. uh, and going from Guilty Gear to Blaze Blue is so weird. Yeah, uh, because the the Roman cancel system gives you a lot of the times it gives you like a pop up or something, mm -hmm. and the rapid cancel system in Blaze Blue does not do anything mm -hmm. but cancel your move. Yep, and it uh, it it can confuse you if, if you're going back and forth. Yep, it's the old the style games. Roman cancel from like X hat. Yeah, but well, Blaze Blue has its own cool mechanics. Overdrive is rad. Overdrive is rad. Shout out to my Habiki appreciators in mm -hmm. the chat. I'm a, I'm a Susano player. At least it's not Hazuma. I won't, <laughs> I won't get on that tangent. We'll be here for hours. Yeah, I just love characters that have to do things slightly differently from the rest of the cast. Unlocking special moves is a lot of fun. But anyway, back to Guilty Gear. We've got a happy chaos in the mix. So coming into Frosty... Mm -hmm. I had not seen very many happy chaoses, and all the happy chaoses I'd seen had been like in my face, mm -hmm. mixing my, mixing myself. Yep. And uh, I've definitely learned that you can you can also play very lame yeah. and be very successful on this character. Yeah, there's not that that's a bad thing. Uh, yeah, happy chaos is a character that can be played a couple of different ways, which is great. But now here it is, happy chaos in the corner after running out of concentration, forced to spend the burst to get King Kurtz back to full screen. And now here is where Nagoriyuki struggles. With the charge shot pressure. Oh, he's missing some reloads. And there's a big counter hit 2H. Oh, drops the combo. Gets the command PRC grab. and the command grab. Stomp. <laughs> oh, he's done. <laughs> he's cooked. King cooked. Just keeps stopping at his ankles until it works. He's in the kitchen with a pot. He's mm -hmm. cooking. Ooh. And one more command grab. One more command oh. grab. You going to do it again? Nope. There, just a close slash. And backs up, gets the wall splat, and here's the super. It's going to be close. Happy Chaos is not very beefy. I think this hill. It and does. there it goes. One more game under King Crux's belt. We got to see a little bit of the Happy Chaos zone. Right? But unfortunately, didn't, didn't have the full tech unlocked yet. Did not. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're good enough, you can reload between every single steady aim shot and keep up the pressure. That's pretty nuts. It is. <laughs> the things that people have learned to do in this game just surprise me every time I play mm -hmm. and every time I watch the game. Yeah, there's always more to learn, and that's one of the great things about this game. I just want Anji to have guard point back on his uh, <laughs> on his overhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guard point. I can I, I even if it cancels it into the dance, man. I haven't played much older gear, but I have kind of missed it. I I think I understand why they changed it the way they did. Oh, it was broken. It was very strong. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. Personally, I think they did a pretty good job of keeping the essence of the old character while, while reworking some of the weirder mechanics. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely he's definitely, in my opinion, the coolest character in the game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, Anji's got. Oh, speaking, speaking of Anji, of here we the go. The devil, here we go. We got Anji up against Nago. Anji is very good at dealing with those long range normals if he can spin into them. So this matchup could be more even than you would think from a top tier against a pretty low tier. But again, this is this is guilty gear stride. These tiers don't matter as much as you might think. Fusion pressure. 
He stays out of range. Okay. No clean hit for either player yet. And there's a 6P. And there's a Good command, command grab. grab. Oh, Old coming the out from the Alright. <laughs> BRC. Just giving respect to the counter super. And again. Ooh. King Crooks does not want to get hit by that. Here's a burst. All right. There's a conversion. I think that'll kill. Yep. yep. Doesn't even need the wall break. Kill. Oh, Big just fusion. lands a Fujin. That's loops. That's a wall break. Pretty high damaging one too. That is almost half of Nagoriki's. Whoa! Just mashing that DP. And gets a good RC button. here. Oh, and he's gonna pop. King Crooks, out of health, has 50 meter. Okay. Oh, and one counter hit is gonna do it. One round apiece for Alpaca 21 and King Crooks. Oh, the dance, but he gets the punishes. second hit. Those multi hitting moves you cannot dance through. Mm -hmm. He's in the corner again against King Crooks. Yep, really close to a wall break, too. One more hit should do it. King Crooks, pretty low on blood, so has plenty of pressure left to work with, and he can land a hit. And there's Ooh. a gold burst from Alpaca. 6H goes wide, and there's a command grab. There's a Roman cancel. This, in theory, does not want to spot. Anymore. All right. Just keep him, keep him blood all right. And, oh, Roman cancels to stay safe. And then, oh, the BRC back into Fujin. There's a counter here, forcing out the burst from King Crux. All right. <laughs> Butterfly to approach. Tries to hit it out of the air, but that doesn't work that way. Oh, all right. Once again, King Crux is giving respect to the Anji counter super, dashing up into block. And there's a counter here, not going to get a kill off of that. King Crux, whoa, oh, nice. one more enhanced 5H is going to do it. Anji just runs straight into Swatting it. Swatting him like a fly. I believe that's 12 to 11 now. King Crux has brought He's it back almost all the way. Bringing us back to salvation. Mm -hmm. Just like that. One player, and we are almost back to even. And I'm going to let the other guy that was wanting to uh, okay. commentate come up here now. Yeah. Good to have you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, we had some people who were waiting to commentate. Anybody? Yeah, I think it was doing the red flannel shirt. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, come on. Well, hey, first time for everything. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, you need his tag? Okay. All right. Sure we got our stream correct. So, how how you been? I've how, been pretty great. Have so you been far. enjoying the set so far? Everything. It's going really wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm happy to be here, and it's my first time at Frosty, so mm -hmm. I'm happy to enjoy this time here and then watch everyone play their hearts out in these awesome fighting games. Yeah, this it's is my fir this is my first major too. That's cool. Really cool. Yeah. So, who do we got up next? Ah. Uh, well, let's. We have a soul bad guy. All right, soul bad guy. All right, let's see if Soul can overcome Nago in this match. Yep, we got the two of arguably the best characters facing off. All they right, are both big damage, big conversions. Yep. Nago may be taught here. Well, Soul can still go through. All right, all right. Let's start off. Yep. Ooh, start out with a two D. Go for Ben Revolver. This is the vortex. With conversion oh. back from King Crooks, just gonna get yeah, in 5k pop. Got the 5k off, gets a 2D. Mm -hmm. King Crooks sitting at Bear big over. This huge, is huge buttons. Yep. Just using, using the sword to get 5K. in. 5k. He was going for the command oh, grab. He knew and the blood rage is there. BRCs to get out. Yep. King Crooks. Waiting All for right. his health drain. Staying safe. And the banner. 5k. Oh. Yep. Gets the burst right. out. Okay. The six, eight, He's got to wait nine. patiently. Mm -hmm. He's got to wait at the right moment to strike, and then he'll take the round. There and we go six with the 6HS. Six six Randy with the patient play. 
that, that, that is very nice. Mm -hmm. Very well oh. played with right. from Randy. Slight whiff punish on the 5k. King Greg's not getting a huge conversion. Oh, tries to convert oh. off of 2D, but is it? King Crook's playing a lot less committal now. Yep. 2S going in, and then PRC. Mm -hmm. Oh, no bite. Yep. Oh, Randy has been ready rate. for the bite. So Blood Rage is coming in right now. Oh, the throw. Oh, the throw prevented it. King Crook's not dashing in. Still pretty high on blood. All right. Randy, Randy. Is, yep. Randy's trying to find a way approach. And, and there we hits. go. Says a lot of roll. Oh, oh, and then the throw, no. and then the, yep. Roman cancel and 6HS. Randy right. tries to make the comeback, but isn't quite able to manage that. And here we go, last right. round. Final <laughs> round for game 24. Let's see where this goes. Starts off with the spin. Yeah, Randy yep. tried for the round start 2D again. Yep. But it and then goes to wall time. break. But here we go. King Crooks sitting at advantage. Got that positive bonus. Still got plenty of blood to work with. Yep. Burst out of the command throw. Randy could still come through with this. Mm -hmm. This is so bad guy. He can make any comeback happen. All right, what's the next? Yep, goes right. 2P. Respect. Yep. Give her a super. slash. PRC. Mm -hmm. And King oh. Crooks poking through. almost full meter. And oh. there is... Oh! oh doesn't didn't spend it. Doesn't drop it. Goes to the far slash string and just... Roman oh, the oh, two Oh, one eight. poke could do it. And that is game. And I think that was... That might have just been chip damage. The Goryuki does so much chip damage. Renago is... Insane mm -hmm. when it comes to strive. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you like, have to be prepared when it, you're about to face mm -hmm. Nago. Nago yeah, like, can do anything. Yeah, like I was just saying, this character is so expressive. He can do so many things. Yeah, he can. No matter what, he is going to take you down. Mm -hmm. No matter what character you're using, he is there. Mm -hmm. He's going to stare right in your face. Yeah, it's so hard yeah. to deal with Nagoriyuki at any range he chooses to play. Yep. He's got so many options. He has so much. And it was a close one, too. Mm -hmm. So who do we got next? All right. King Crux continuing the reign of terror. Yep. Will anyone take down Nago? We're about to we find out. See if there's a regicide coming up. I, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> uh, okay. took me like the entire game to register, but you were the Kai that was playing earlier. Yeah, that was me, yeah. <laughs> you had a great run. Thanks. I wish uh, I wish the close slash didn't drop mm -hmm. and then I would have mm -hmm. took the round and continued, but it's yeah. what it is. Yeah, like I was saying on commentary, I love watching Kai. I played Kai for a while and he is such a satisfying character. He is really good. He had troubles day mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. but with like the recent two patches, He's become mm -hmm. a very good character. Mm -hmm. And I think his DI is honestly improved. Mm -hmm. Like, after seeing much of him with the DI form, I'm actually satisfied. Uh -huh. Anyway, we got our next match here. Faust versus Nagoriyuki. Right. Sunburn versus Q Crook. All right. And in we go. Gets an anti-air 2S into a full oh, going to burst. Sunburn burst out. Oh, tries to overhead. And here we go. Gets an item toss. Gets the bomb. Be careful about that. And that oh, oh, it both catches them both. Them. <laughs> All right, goes All for right. a throw. The What's next? Throw. Oh, another, another throw. throw. And, the and then the wall break. And that'll do it. King Crook's one more round. All right. Crook has to win this one, and then Tempest will take the lead. For the first time in this set. And a full conversion. conversion. And wall break. Wall there break. Goes half of Faust's health already. What's the setup? Oh, wow, All right. the aerial mix just All catching right. King Crook's grunting. Oh, trust the command. Right. Overhead. The overhead lands. Oh, oh, wow, the trade. The trade goes in. I'm Six a bit B. surprised that 2H hits. Yeah, I'm oh, he tries to go for command grab. King Crook says, oh, here's the how first it bait, but didn't punish. And that is game. Tempest now takes the lead. Mm -hmm. It is 12 and 13. As Tempest is up there right now, mm -hmm. he is... Wow, Crook is going in for the team. Yeah, King Crooks. Mm. I had to fight this guy in bracket. <laughs> he 3 0'd me. Uh, it was rough. That, that, but what a good player. Yeah, he is. His, he, he, it just shows that his Nago isn't just for mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. His Nago is out there, that's for sure. Yeah, he, he's going in and he's good at what he does. He, he knows what he's doing. I definitely want to get a run in the set with him when this is all over. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. Is, is there anyone in the Celeste that can take down anyone? I thought I heard somebody saying something. 
Yeah. Well, anybody in the Celeste, take out this Nago and then take up the lead to tie up. All right. We got to... Okay, here we go. Our player's walking up to the console now. All right. What do we have now? I've... So what characters haven't we seen yet? Obviously, we haven't seen Biken. We haven't seen Melia. We haven't seen Melia. We haven't seen... We've seen May, right? Uh, I believe we have seen a May. Okay. I think we've seen one May. We haven't seen Zato. We haven't seen Zato. And not Melia. And we haven't seen a Leo either. We haven't seen a Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis either. Uh, Jacko. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We haven't seen a Le Yo, Yo, you said Leo. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get some. Oh, all right. We got another Axel here. Another Axel. Okay. Let's like button check up. I know Axel. Some people don't like watching zoners. I do. Is it, it depends which zoners. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, ha Happy Chaos zoning isn't as dynamic as Axel. Yeah, so but Happy Chaos has a bunch of potential, mm -hmm. no doubt. Yeah, Happy Chaos has a lot of stuff going on. He is once you once you get hit by Happy Chaos, it's mm -hmm. it's around loss. On well, you. one thing I will say. I never get tired of watching the Deus Ex Machina Super. I think it's one of the coolest looking Supers in the game. Dare 6. The way how he says so cool. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get in with Capcom versus Crook. Axel oh. versus Nago. Let's see where this goes. Starting off with 6 HS. Mm -hmm. Going for the low. All right. Back at, punishes it. All right. Here we are, back in full screen. And then oh, goes for the command in. grab. Gets our main oh, oh, tries to go for the thrive. No. What's the next? Oh, burst. Obviously, Crook was trying to burst bait Axel, but delayed it a bit. Mm -hmm. Axel trying to zone right. it out. Yep, here we are. Gets the hate. This is where Axel can really do a lot of damage in this matchup. Yep. The one thing that he has to watch out for, we just saw there, Rensen clashing with the clone. Yep. Because oh, that is a projectile, and clone beats all other projectiles in the game, as I recall. Gets the spin. This is looking pretty close. And then we go. Oh, tries to go for go. a far slash. Oh, the overhead oh, RC. Axel, Axel Bomber. Bomber. And Axel that's going to do it. All right. Capcon, how do you say pronounce his name? Capconian, I think. Capconian. You, he just needs, right, he just needs to King take Crooks. He needs to take this match and then be able to tie up with Tempest. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets the counter. Yeah. What's the next? Tries to call oh. out a dash, it seems, but it doesn't work right. out. Right, gets the zone. There we go. He's trying to zone him out. Ooh. Oh, tries to go for the command grab. Mm -hmm. The King Crooks overhead, RC, and then Axel Bomber, zoning him out. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Back at full screen. Oh. Tries to go for the command grab again, but King Crook's already oh, jumped again. Command Here grab we go. Incoming. Oh, oh, the counter hit on the go. last hit of the far slash string, and that's going to yep, kill. That's going to kill. And he got burst on time, so he has to use his burst wisely. Mm -hmm. They both have burst. Both players coming in with burst. We have an even game so far. Oh, the counter big to counter HS. Hit. Okay. And here we go. Nagoryuki once again in Axel's face. Tries to burst, go and burst. The he has full meter. What's but next? Here's the counter. Okay. Oh, the YRC. YRC. Oh, no. Oh, wake up, Superman. All right. He can zone him out. He still has oh, time to pull Starts through. running up. Jumps back. Okay. Oh, command grab. Misses. Oh, tries oh, misses again. again. And oh, there's the end goes here. anti air. Doesn't quite get the pickup. Oh. But still, now King Crooks is oh, in the and the Beyblade comes out. in. That was so close. That was a pretty intense match. That was a fantastic game. That was really close. Both I'm players given as good as they got, but King Crooks coming out on top. Yep. That Axel played really well, I will mm -hmm. say that. And managed just to get the burst, gold burst mm -hmm. on time. I'm I'm impressed that he delayed the burst a bit mm -hmm. because Nago was there just burst baiting, waiting for it. But Axel was able to get that burst mm -hmm. out in like the first round, which yeah. I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, that was really good. The bursts from both players were excellent. Honestly, just a lot of excellent play from both players. It's just very good, very impressive. Mm -hmm. It's it's very exciting seeing this matches. Absolutely, it's very it's a very exciting. wild assortment of matchups we're seeing. A lot, a lot of different players, a lot of different play styles, a lot of different characters. We are seeing the full spectrum of Guilty Gear. Yep, it is. Strive is out there. If you're looking for the craziest match out there, Guilty Gear Strive is where you're looking for. Mm -hmm. It's anyone can pick it up. Anyone can try mm -hmm. fighting games. Guilty Gear Strive is a good place to start for beginners. Absolutely, definitely. It's Guilty def Gear Strive is the first fighting game I put significant time yeah, into. It's definitely a good fighting game. I will say that. If mm -hmm. it hadn't been for rollback, 
I don't know where this game would have been, but mm -hmm. I'm really happy that it's doing really well. Yeah. Compared to the previous titles. Yeah, the online play has done so much yeah. for it. Okay, here All we right. go. And we got another Kai. Oh, oh they Buns. seem to be doing bun checks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes. You just get so eager to play that you run up and hit start and forget to say. Oh, they're starting. Are oh. they jumping straight into it? Yep. Or are they just bunch of. Yeah, we're, we're just going fast. So as soon as the buttons are correct, All we right. just go straight in. All right, we're jumping right. straight into it. King Kong burst to keep the corner against Haru 96. And here we are. Let's oh, it's a command grab. Command Croak is just going wild. Ooh, the oh, the check a on punish. the Beyblade. But that's. He's going to Beyblade right back in, get a counter hit, and finish off the round. All right, let's see what Haru's next move is. Ooh, gets a 2 West punish. Right, that's good. That's good. Direct. Stunish. Oh, that's a great start. Great punish. Back dashes the far slash. That, nice, that was a whip Nice throw. 5D. All right. Six P's out. Doesn't get the best confirmed, but that's three far slashes. That's a lot of blood. Uh, five oh, counter. Oh, no. Oh, the first, first bait. bait. And that's going to wall break. Not enough meter to kill, but... What's the next one? One more hit. Oh. Tries to stun Dipper, but gets the trade, and the Goryuki going to take it. Tempest still in the lead. So Celeste still behind. Mm -hmm. Will anyone in front of Celeste be able to take out Crook and his Nago? This, I'm, get, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Crook went all the way to beat me down, and then now look where he is right yeah, now. I'm... More than brought it back. Just I'm in brought a lead. This I'm, is what three games up. Yeah, this is insane. I I'm getting nervous. I'm getting goosebumps <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. It's it's absolutely wild. Mm -hmm. Like not again, Nago. They just decide to buff Nago, <laughs> and look where Nago is right now. Literally the best character mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah. I'm getting. But hey, nervous. if any character has got to be the best character in the game, Nagori Yuki is a great choice. Nagori Yuki is really good. Mm -hmm. You gotta work some stuff with him, but mm -hmm. he's good. And you gotta manage how you gotta manage blood rage because mm -hmm. if using too much of things that requires blood rage, blood rage, yep. it will fill up the meter, yep. restricting you with a bit more moves. But landing two S and five H S, landing two moves or hits, any hit, mm -hmm. you'll get Ooh. big damage out of it, including wall break. All right, we got the two beefiest boys fighting each other now. Potemkin matchup. Potemkin versus Nagoriyuki. Potemkin is really good. All right. If Potemkin can get a solid knockdown into Oki, this could just be oh. over in a flash. But then the same is true, is yep. if Nagoro Yuki lands a hit and starts getting meter and building up that blood gauge. Yep. Oh, uh, goes to Challenges Mega the Mega Fist in the air. Jack it out with blocking it out. Try to jump, but then close And there's a counter hit. No conversion. All right, burst out. King Crooks is sitting on full meter. He tries to go for flick. Mm -hmm. oh, Just stuns. Getting the stagger pressure. And command, a command grab. Command grab to finish. And that's a perfect right there. Mm -hmm. Jackie has one more shot in here. Start. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Just going for blood reach immediately. King Crooks just teleporting back and forth. Oh, and oh, wow. wall break right there. Back to where we started. All right, BRC, BRC forward, oh, blocks the oh, the mix. All right. Good defense from right. Jackie Dow. Lands a counter hit, but doesn't make a fist. conversion. All right, and there's, yep. a and oh. there's a super. Will it kill? I don't. Oh, it wow. It is That's death. death. That's it. That is death. And with that, Tempest taking 16 death. and 12. This is, wow. Crook is really feeling confident right there. Page. Crook is feeling really mm -hmm. confident in winning this. Yeah, and no wonder. Like, you got to be feeling on top of the world if you just taken down, what, 15 players in a row? That That is insane. First it was Faust, Kai, and then now Nago is up there. Mm -hmm. Just rampage after rampage tonight. Yeah, it's a rampage. Tonight it's the afternoon. <laughs> it is the – I'm just getting goosebumps. <laughs> Any, will anyone from Celeste take down Tempest? Mm -hmm. Tempest, is, yeah. Tempest is up there yeah, taking Team the Solstice lead. needs to find another heavy hitter. Yep, Celeste needs someone to pull through against Nago. Mm -hmm. now, this is looking pretty well for Nago. Mm -hmm. Any more matches, and then it's game set for the 10v10. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty wild. I don't know exactly how many players we got on each team, so 
we could still have a decent chunk of tournament left in us. Yeah, we're, we're, I feel like we're getting close to the end. I think we've got to be over halfway through one, at least one of the teams. It, it seems that way. I am nervous. I am very nervous. Uh, we have our next competitor somewhere. They're they're trying to they're trying to talk it out, just picking out who's All right. who's next to be mm -hmm. up. They're trying to strategize. Yeah, who could take down Nago? Mm -hmm. So far, it was close with Axel and Nago. Yeah, it was very yeah. close. Yeah, and then Gio and Nago. Yeah. It was very extremely close. All right, I think we got our player. This is looking pretty close. Mm -hmm. They just need to take out Crook, and then they'll be able to pull through. They'll still have the chance. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. not, it's not over yet. King Crooks is making himself into a wall here, but as soon as they're able to put a hole in that wall, they could break could, it through. This could just go all the way back. They could just break it through, no doubt. No doubt about it. Yeah, these 1v1 team tournaments are so volatile. That's insane. I am... This is really hype, no doubt about mm -hmm. it. I am very interested and excited to see where else we'll go with this. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good Guilty Gear left to go, that's for sure. It's 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 Guilty Gear right here at home. Mm -hmm. Guilty Gear Strive, you'll be at home, anyone you want to pick. Mm -hmm. I'm still hoping we get to see a bike end. Just somebody pull out the pocket bike and they've been grinding for the last 24 hours. <laughs> She did just came up, but I would be really interested. Mm -hmm. All right, we got bun check here in the character. I would screen. be tempted, but at the same time, like I do want to bring my best game. Yeah, anyone could do it. Mm -hmm. She is very fun so far. I, I've just had a blast playing her. I, I, I can't wait to be home to try her out. All right, all, all right. right, we got an Eno here. I think this is the second Eno we've seen. Yep, the second Eno we've seen. Eno, Eno. Eno's game plan is very dangerous. You have mm -hmm. to be aware of what she's doing. Yep. You know, she could get, she could knock you down and do whatever she can do. Mm -hmm. She can even mix you. Yeah, th this is a tricky matchup for Eno, yep. just because it's very hard to get around Nagoriyuki's pressure. Yep. Oh, oh starting God. off with a 2D. That oh, is an extremely the risky round start option, but it works out. It, it worked. Oh, and King Crooks, all right. Okay, Using up a decent amount of blood. And there's the command grab, and now Fear Pig has to burst out. Goes for the aerial dial. note and King Crooks just jumps into it. There's the a tick oh, throw. BRC. Early Roman cancel. All right, oh. two S's, the stroke, and that's a huge confirm. And the that wall might break. kill. Nope, a six eight. No, those skilled enough that I don't think even a six eight would have killed. Yeah, but nope. Fear Pig now just one hit away from death. And, and there it is. Yep. Goes for yep, jumping. One. Right. Oh, okay. Round right. three. EP Go gets punished that. by the dive. And stroke underneath the sword. Fear pick, okay. fear pick has to be very oh, careful. Oh, like hit that. enough of the delay on the second hit of the DP. Okay, and King Prince oh, pops. Oh, what's next? And this, Eno has combos oh. that can last for a very long time. This could just be dead. Is this dead? That's it. It's dead. It's dead. It is dead. And then fear, fear pick takes the round. Stretching Wait. out the combo. They have a maximum value out of the blood rage. Here we are. Round three of game 29. Will okay. fear pig be able to pull through for the team? All right. Oh, goes Just for the punish. Straight goes jump for the in. grab. There's a throw. Gets a projectile. The oh, but Nago oh. jumps over it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, Kirk pushes tries in. to throw the note in neutral. Oh, that's very difficult against Naga. Oh, and the burst, no, the burst gets baited. baited. Oh, the 5D, that is and game. that should be dead. Oh, uh, that was close. Fear pick. Incredible. Played. That was wow. And with all that blood rage in the second round, that's insane. Mm -hmm. Eno was able to pull through that round. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Eno, great Eno. showing from Fear from Fear Pig. The knowledge of how to extend the combo the longest possible to take full advantage of that blood rage. You know, Eno is a tricky character, but she's got something up her sleeve, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, Eno, Eno, Eno is a character full of gimmicks. I should know. I play her. Yeah, Eno is Eno. God. <laughs> uh, this yeah. is this is looking pretty hype. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. They're starting to, they, it looks like they might be running out of players. Mm -hmm. So it could be over within a flash. Mm -hmm. Anyone, right. anyone from the Celeste team has to pull through. All right. And I think I am going to hop off of commentary to give someone else a shot because I'm sure we got a couple other people of waiting to commentate. So of it course. has been a pleasure casting with it's you. It's been a pleasure with you too. It's been great to have you. Of course. It's been great to be here. 
And I'm glad. I will see everyone. I'll see you all later. Take it easy. All right. Thank you so much for the commentary. All right, well, it looks like we are pulling through for our next match. The player walked in. Let's see where this goes. Oh. Hey. How are you, man? Hello, what's up? Good, dude. What is this? You had a crazy ass run today. Thank you, thank you. That was I, legendary. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm I, I was afraid that uh, I really hope the the close slash when I RC'd after Stun Dipper didn't job, but... Uh-huh. That's fine. It's it's whatever. It's you know? tournament nerves or something like that. You know, free yeah. Free to play bike in legal that nobody played bike yeah. in tournament. Yeah. Crook really took me down. Yep. Yeah. It'll happen. You know yep. what I'm saying? We've had a really fun time so far. Um, everybody is, you know, able to understand what a first-to-one bracket feels like. It's uh, insane. Bad. Real bad. Uh, I came up second, like, the second match of the day, and I was just not, pre not prepared at all. That I... I felt that when I was competing with uh, Smash and then Virtual Fighter. Yeah. Smash is, wow, <laughs> it was a lot of TQs. Oh, I mean, like, that's going to happen, right? Okay, yeah. so just the nature of having a major, like, there were going to be um, there were gonna be DQs all across the board. We had a ton of DQs in Strive as well. Yeah. You had a ton of DQs in Melty Blood. It's just, you know, people mm -hmm. trying to think about or rethink coming out to an event. But I'm glad that everybody did come out and they were able to, you know, close out the day with the after party, close out the day with this tournament. And yeah. All right. Close we out have, the day with this match. We have Yusuke versus Crook. Chip against Nago. Yeah. Chip is, Chip is yep. Hyper explosive, you know. Always going to try to do a lot oh, to cut through. Oh, misses it. It's going to be hard, you know. But Chip is a pretty, Yusuke here? Chip is got some pretty cool stuff he can do. Oh. And right there, didn't kill. But Almost. it's just right there. Just one hit can do it. Just about building up the tension. Okay, finally got the J2K right. started. And there oh, it is. goes for that. Thick ass counter hits a start. Oh, oh. drops it. OTG. Yeah, it just falls out of the combo. Now he's got to work hard to get back in. There's the RC burn. And he's got to be careful because King Crooks in this position. There and it is. I was the trade. Say, King Crooks in that position. He's never really on the back foot. He's always willing to like 5K Beyblade out or at least, you know, start to 2P two, two if he needs to. I agree. I can see it. Oh, but stops him from doing 2HS. Yeah, the early burst to stop the momentum as early as possible and retain the screen position. Now he's got him in the corner. Look at Chip, this pressure. Chip is losing his health fast. This is bad. King Crooks has been on top of that baiting with the teleports. And there and it is. that's the fastest game ever we've yeah. seen so I far. I mean, hey, Nago against Chip, you're going to have extremely explosive yeah. game. That Chip. went about as, you know, on Chip. paper as you could. Chip against big characters is a risk. You got to you got to be very careful with what you're doing with Chip. Yeah. I mean, for sure cuz the thing is everybody knows like, oh yeah, like Chip dies in one hit, right? Especially yeah. against Nagoriyuki, but every Chip player is like recognize that every chip player is prepared yeah. for that and every chip player knows like oh i'm gonna have to do a lot of tools to open them up yeah. and it's kind of like you just cycle the blades you cycle j2k pressure you cycle overheads stuff like that and it's a he's a pixie you know once you know how to get chip down he's a really good character to use dude chip dude and when chip has you knocked down once it begins even it, and even marvello yesterday <sighs> on stream he played chip it. very well talk about it he absolutely is, he is really the best chip out there his yeah. chip is very good even i fought him multiple times yeah and he knows what to do with chip yeah marvelo right. making an extremely legendary run uh through the top 24 um well done to him top eight yesterday and top 24 guilty gear strive yesterday yep. was fantastic dude it was such a wild ride we yesterday. had a lot of stories coming out from the west coast we had our florida boys up for the grand finals south uh, florida yeah. all over the world it was fun man it was a really really fun day i yep. think that it, it, it opened up uh, top eight opened up in the best possible way with Lost Soul versus Hotashi in an extremely nail biter like final game, final yeah, round. Yeah, it was close. Yeah, yeah. It was close and hype at the same time. Yeah, we've been having a lot of really close matches uh, and not so much today so far with uh, ever since King K uh, King Crook sat down because he's been really blasting Crook through. Crook is pushing it for the team. He is. I mean, like, I'm glad he is. Yeah. Carrying it for us <laughs> because he needs to. All right. Yeah, I, I can see I'm that. I'm very happy for my teammate. No bias, by the way. Absolutely zero commentator bias, you know. Yeah. I'm rooting, you know, for, oh, I'll, I'll root for Happy Chaos. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Any, it's anyone's game in this match. I'll root against top tier, oh. so it's, like, hard to pick oh. throughout this Actually, one. Actually, you know. I, I, I already checked my statement. Yeah. Nago against Happy Chaos, it's a struggle because once Happy Chaos hits you down, it's game over for that round. I mean, Happy Chaos, okay, so like 
Yes, I know that there are a lot of Naga players that say this feels really bad. I remember when uh, uh, Dynamite and Yipes were talking yesterday uh, about how rough this matchup feels when we were watching it during the top eight, the, how rough this feels for Nago. Yeah. Because it's just like, there are ranges where Nago feels like he can't do anything. Beyblade is extremely risky, and that's that's Happy Chaos's whole shtick, right? It's to cons consistently apply pressure. Right, but, and we're going in right now with the knockdown against Happy Chaos. Yeah. The pressure, gun is out. Oh, but the burst hits. Early burst. Oh, and he did it. Respect yep. it. He and tried to runs out up. of meter. Okay, yeah. Out of concentration. He's back in the corner, and King Crooks is just going to continue oh, to apply this 2K. pressure. Fading out. Six H. Burst. Oh, avoids the the curse. Yep. Didn't avoid that one All though. Right. Concentration. Full concentration. Keep that going. Not trying to chip it out. So far, Happy Chaos has the life lead. Yeah, it looks like Jazzy not for long. is trying to like stagger the shots so that way he thinks that King Crux is going to try to approach out of them. Nice. Counter hit 6H is going to be juicy. Right. But this is looking crazy right now. Yeah, he's and the RC. Dead. There it is. Nice with the PRC follow up was able to kill too. That could have been really, really disastrous if uh, Jazzy was able to make that. Happy combat. Chaos could still come around. And the Beyblade. Round star oh, Beyblade too, you absolute goon. In with the bite. Staying in two, counter, oh no, not counter hit, but gets oh, the wall yeah, splat. And wall break. And he's got the tension pulse already with one brick a meter. Yep. Oh, the curse okay, applied. Gets the gut shots. Happy Chaos can still make this round. Jazzy going through. Okay, and Gets then? hit by clone. And that's that's kind of what you oh, want to do. Oh, right. God. Oh, but it didn't continue. Oh, oh God. Counter hit. Oh, but misses. Ready. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, but still nice. got it. Oh, no super. Oh. He could have just done the super. He could have done super. Oh. And now he's dead for it. Oh, no. He knows, dude. He's he shaking knows. his head like, I did the wrong super, He knows. Super, man. I, I would have felt the same thing. Yo, there were, okay, absolutely. There were two situations in which Crooked could have died. Like, it was the round, right? It yeah. was never like, oh, man, this is it. The comeback begins yeah. now. But, like, that's right. there were so many instances. Yeah. Oh, Blood Rage, so many by Blood Rage was there. He was out of the range. He, he had the chance to push through. He could have either dusted or he could have just... Gun. Yeah. B no, absolutely. Big damage. Well, I mean, it's like he could have done dust. Counter hit at the ready was going to be massive for that because that's like an exceptionally high damage starter for him. I think that the way that he was weaving his shots was not quite there. Maybe it's like he's just getting familiar with, you know, how that shot loop is supposed to go because it's a lot of, it's a, it's a fast input, you know, yeah. to have to like do the S at the ready, shoot, then con cancel into the bullet, reload, or, uh, or concentrate, whatever you want to do yep. at the ready again. Like that loop. It takes time. It takes practice yeah. and maybe like coming up in the match mm -hmm. against Crooks. Yep. And, and Happy Chaos against you in corner is super dangerous. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's either way for both of those characters too, but Happy Chaos is able to apply that pressure uh, from most positions and King Crooks was just not afraid. He did yep. the double teleport in, able to get the counter hit five or close slash. Happy Chaos is such a cool character. Absolutely, and I'm he, glad to see him again as he, we got somebody else sitting yeah. down. Seems that way, or we might be able to see it in someone else. We might. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, I was we hoping. got soul bad guy right okay. here. Okay, all right. Our second soul of the day earlier yes. today was by Randy. Randy Verlore almost had uh, King Crooks on the back foot. Maybe he yeah, took a round off him at least. It was close. It was close. Let's see what happens here in this match. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, this soul is gonna be a lot more explosive. Right. Crook versus Crook. Let's see where this goes. I like it. I love it. Okay. It starts off with a 2K, 2P. Heavy slash. Okay, now he's backing off again. Ah, uh, I guess the counter. The thing is, King Crypt is like anticipating. Look, the way that he was playing the early part of this oh, round. Oh, he gets gold burst. Yeah, he got the gold burst. And but he's got to do a lot with this meter. And that counter hit close slash is gonna yeah, kill him, I guess. It is. Yeah, Nago is wild with damage. Yeah, I mean, King Crooks has been able to capitalize, and King Crooks has been patient. Oh, he tries to go for 6S, but gets countered. Yeah, he's waiting for uh, Krunk to, like, go on the offensive and absolutely goon out in the way Souls want to do, but again, oh, we have... Oh, a 5K. Yeah. And okay. Blood Rage comes out. Okay, he pops off the wall. Oh, okay. That's how you know he's an excellent player, dude. He popped off the wall and air tech like crazy. Yep, and gets that. Instead of trying to take the mid screen again, and there it is. Oh, oh drops it misses! It. Oh, but DP on! Oh, oh, the DP misses! Tragic. All right, Krunks tried his best. He, he, he tried his best there. It was a close round, too. That's what you got to. A little bit more, and then it would have continued from there. No, look, I, I, I think that you're right. I think that if Krunk was able to just find the confidence to just go it like round round start night raid 
can do a lot for your ego. Yeah. Do a lot. It, like it's a it's a mental thing for yourself too. Like sometimes soul players, we make fun of them, right? We talk about them. We we we, we goon on them. We think that they're all they're brainless, you know. But it does a lot to just like build that momentum, start it, and give you a lot of data. Round start, like Bandit Bringer, round start, Night Raid Vortex. Depending on how your opponent gets is reacting to that, if he's backing off and he's ready and waiting for that, then you you understand. You've got to have to play footsies. Yeah, he's just waiting the opportunity. He'll Imagine. get you. A concept. Soul yeah. playing footsies. Imagine. Soul, even with one hit on block uh, with Ben Revolver. Command grab right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't don't forget about wild throw. Like yep. in incorporating that pressure. You know, doing it. Well, King Crooks was earlier against Randy's uh, Valor was ready for the Bandit Bringer uh, follow up. Not the Bandit Bringer. The yep. uh, no. Yeah. The Bandit. Uh, revolver? Bandit, Bandit Revolver. Whichever one the kicks are. I can't remember. Yeah, I think that, it's Bandit that, Revolver. That Bandit Revolver is the kick, and yeah, then yeah, Bandit yeah. Bringer is the one where he goes up in the air. So the, the Bandit Revolver, he was ready for the, the second part. Like, yep. he threw him immediately afterward, and I and was then, like, yeah, you got a delay. All right, we have another Kai in the arena okay. against Nago. Kai, we're seeing, you know what's crazy is early in Strive, um, early in Strive's career, we were saying, like, oh, yeah, Kai's dry, blah, blah, blah. He's got the set play. But we're seeing, as of this weekend, a lot of sauce come out from Kai. Yep. Tautology not going to be able to show it off right now as he gets wall broken. Immediately counter hit. Oh, close first up. bait. And it was. And then, will that wall break? I think it will. Uh, but it doesn't kill, kill, just a bit. Okay. You want to stage a comeback. Right now is the top. Oh, uh, and then, yeah. Or and then next. It's a perfect. Or next round. You know, anytime. Anytime that works best for Tempest you. Tempest is far off in the lead. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at Tempest stealing the lead back. I think this has been like a yep. damn near 20 game streak. So let's, so let's start off strong, and then Tempest is taking it back. Okay. Careful. Yep. Still Not putting back. On out. What's next? Oh, he's got Gotta watch it. the Blood Burst. He's, he's kind of pop. He's Crook gonna pop. Is, whoa, Krug. Oh my god. He's definitely not gonna pop. I mean, hey, if he's like, I, 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 I won't pop if I kill him before I do, That's, right? Wow. Yeah. yeah he, and then the life lead too, so it would just do there. I like the thought process behind that, you know. Crook don't have to worry about the burst if he just dies. Crook is feeling very confident yeah. for his team. I mean, he's been on a tear throughout the entire team. Yep, so, of course, he's just, like, riding out that momentum, and nobody's been able to sit yeah. down and yep. so far Tempest, to him. So far, Tempest is still in the lead right now. Yeah. Anyone in a Celeste has a chance to take down Nago. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, yep. Crooks is bit, Crook steps off. I think he's just trying to find out who his next opponent is, or he's just like, yo, this isn't fair. I'm just kind of duffing through this yeah, entire team. Crook Put is, somebody else on, Crook bro. is I'll, out there. Let just, me be the anchor. Yeah, Crook, <laughs> Crook is waiting for <laughs> worthy opponent. We're kind of trading streaks here earlier, too. We had uh, we had Lurie uh, with a mild streak in the opening. Got like a five-game streak against him. And then we had some, oh, who was it that was... Uh, that was absolutely just demolishing Tempest for a little bit before King Crooks got on. Uh, Laurie we have right now, and then there was me. Oh, it was then, you. Yeah. It was you. Yeah, I, me and Laurie so far were just going in for the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, then, then, and then that's where Crooks steps in. Yeah, Crooks sat down. He got you out of there, and now he's just carried the team, putting the team on his back. That is absolutely, absolutely insane. Taking us all the way out through the fire, and then probably inevitably up until the end if he's able to actually fight against Solstice. Who yeah. knows? Yeah, anyone has a chance. It's not over yet so far. It's not over yet. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're at game 34, 35 now, and this we is, still got some games to go. These are fast games right here, yeah, I and think, I'm, all, I'm all up for it. I think we've got about four or five more members left on Team Solstice. Any, uh, any, it's, it, they can make this around. Anyone can in the team. Yeah, possible. They it's have, definitely possible. They have to pull through. Otherwise, it's game over for Celeste. Yeah, upsets are always in the realm of possibility here. Who knows? We'll see. King Crooks has been, you know, really consistent, though. Crook is feeling very, very confident. And with his <laughs> Nago out there, ooh. What's interesting is that despite how long, like, King Crooks has been on the setup for a long time. You would think that people in the audience are like watching that and identifying how he's playing. They're going, okay, in the corner, he likes to do the 6-H, <laughs> in into the, the back, you know, when he, when he has me in the corner, you know, he likes to do a lot of the teleport baiting, you know, and he respects offense a lot. He's, he's very, very patient. 
He's, his defense is really on point. He knows when he's got to mash out. And I don't know how he's going to be able to play against Ramlethal if Ramlethal is able to get things going. Gotta go all he was in. super aware against a Ramlethal player earlier today when she had the sword set. Uh, he was hyper aware about the explosions, when to jump, when to mash out, right. when to escape. So we'll see if he's able to do it this time. All right, starting out with the pressure, starting out with sword in the corner. Okay, Thorn the letter, all right. Got oh, it goes for the grab. And there it is, the back throw, and now the tables have turned. There it is, six once H again, 6-H into the back teleport, 6-H. And the sides have turned. Light. Command grab. Yeah, nice. He was just about to pop, too, and look at that. Life lead. Well, tries to get counter off of it. Insane. Pressuring to be. Pop. Gets blood rage. Oh! oh! Oh, goes for grab. Yeah, doesn't have the meter to be able to kill for it. Oh! oh. All right, that's an early burst. Oh, gets the grab. Okay. Oh, he tries to get the other sword, but the sword was too far off the reach. Oh, the top! Oh, oh, yeah! All right, okay. Ramathal takes the round. Thorn the ladder, finally putting a dent in King Crooks' armor. This is looking pretty wild. And then Nago gets 6 feet, gets the bite command grab. Bite to get down from there. Counter Ball hit. Slash. Again, six what a bait with the 6 We are C. Oh, there it is, yeah, OTG. Crook taking the round. This is the final game for game 34. Okay, throwing the letter. It's anyone's have, game. It is anyone's game at this point. Yep. They're both Starts playing extremely well now. 5K ants here. I'll, right I'll take it. You take those, pressure. right? Oh, but tries to go for the grab. He was ready for that grab. Got him back throw. Counter oh, and he painted the bait. burst. He's got meter now. He can create some mix-up pressure. Yeah. Beyblade. Thorn still has a chance. BRC. BRC to oh, bait the throw. It was close. And he got him. Very close. There it is. King Crux once again in a close one. What right. seemed and felt like a close one because he got a round off of him, but couldn't quite seal the deal. And in the final round, he just busted out. Yeah, it was. Let the blood happen. It was wild. That's yeah. what it is. The first round was crazy for Ramatho. I don't give that much. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I'm very impressed with Crook noticing Ramatho's going to go for the grab. Yeah, I mean, Crook has been able to make these kinds of adaptations all throughout. Um, you know, he'll play a little bit more defensively in the beginning to understand what your offense is like, understand what your gimmicks are. And once he sees, like, oh, he's, he's got a basic game plan, I know how to do this. I know how to bust out yep. of this. And then he just gets it going. Once King Crux is able to get his momentum going and he has you in the corner, he's kind of going for, you know, he, I, what's he, interesting is he's been going for the same kind of mix-up over and over again, but... And You're it, pressing on it every time. Like, and it's on. working. It's working. It's absolutely working. And it's really, really difficult to escape because it's just, 6 Ace is just a wall. You're trying to like neutral jump out or trying to press out and you get big juicy counter hit. 6 HS is a dangerous move, but it works very well. Absolutely. It's, absolutely. It, it is a good move. Wall break, counter, no matter what. Absolutely. It is a good move. And uh, King Crooks is just willing to spend that blood meter, you know, and he's been extremely consistent with the bites. His, his blood bursts have gone mostly unpunished outside of one that we saw earlier from Eno, who's able to fully capitalize right. from a basically full HP blood burst. That's right. But, That's right. you know, we're trying to see more consistency like that. We've got Leo sitting down. Wait, this is our first Wait. Leo White Fang. This is our first Leo White Fang. It is I our first Leo White Fang. We have not seen a Leo in today's deck position. We haven't. Sorry. We haven't seen, yeah. And, like, we've gone through pretty much most of the characters. I think by now all we need to see is a is a Gold Lewis, and then we're done. Oh, Biken. Yeah. Oh. Gold Lewis. Oh, no. Gold Lewis. Anyone else? All right. Here we all go. Right. we got Barrick. And we begin. Barrick, one of our Midwestern boys. Starts with 2D. Gets the mix. It gets the burst, teleport, far slash, 5k, going to pressure right now. Yeah, Barrick is no slouch. Oh, oh my god, I say that and you do it. Okay, he's got the burst. He has, to be, very, has yeah. to be very careful when approaching. Yeah, King Crook staying in that space because he knows that. Oh, oh he my knows. god. He could have RC'd too. He could have actually killed him. He needed to. There, There's the, the third one. Third, third time's a charm, right? Yep, that's right. Oh, what? it goes for grab! <laughs> oh, my God! That's going to kill! 2H or 6H? Yeah, 6H. Take it your pick, death, honestly. Yep. Dead as hell. Yo, Barrick. All right, I understand. Yo, he He's going to take that third DP. Be like, see, it does work. It totally works. It, it, it works. Leo's just out there for DPs. Oh, my God. He's got the burst back. Is he going to be able to actually use it? And he's close to death. He's sitting far. So far. He's losing life. Yeah, look at look at where King Crooks is standing. Crook is he's just there. Oh, he gets it. 
Okay. Oh, gets the mix. The oh, right. do it again. Overhead, let's do it go. Again. Let's go. And gets the super. Right, so the super, this is going to do a Barry decent Barry still has a chance here. Hard knockdown. Gets the Oki. What's the mix up? Oh, oh, the throw. He's dead. No, he gets oh. the burst. Yo, even the streamer was like, yeah, cut it. Just oh. cut it. <laughs> All right, let's go. That was... Oh, my heart. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Hey, a good attempt from Barrick. He's was, no slouch in our local scene. That He's was fantastic wild. Player. The mix, I am very impressed with the mix. You just do it again and again and do it again. Hey, that's, that's, that's what you do as a Leo. You brute force your way through, okay? You all saw how many DPs that failed, but he said, you know what? I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you believe. just got to do it. You just got to believe in yourself. Believe in the flash. Believe in freedom, yep. okay? You press the button, Leo's DP is going to come after you. I'm flash kicking for the team. Flash and then kick. once he got the one knockdown and he just like kept cycling the... Hey, that's Leo. You brute force it. Yep. And honestly, it worked out for a little bit, but... King Crux, once again, made the adaptation, caught on, ready with the throw, ready with the whole duff, okay? Yep. So we got probably only a couple more members left yep. before we actually reach Celsius himself. So, so it is running out of teams right we now. We are running this out. Is, this is looking insane right running now. Running out of members, but you know what? Not out of options, uh, okay? This could might always... just be over in a flash. Yeah, we'll see. Who knows? This Who knows? might just be over. Nago is, no, flash Metro is out not there. Here. Nago is insanely dangerous. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I heard that one. I heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Nago is dangerous. Nago is looking like he's, they're going to take it. They're going to take this he, unless someone, wait. someone from Celeste. If he gets away with this robbery in broad daylight, in front of everybody, nobody catches him alive. It'll be over in a flash. We're gonna make, they're going to make another movie about him. The next Fast and Furious is going to be about King's Crest because he's running through this bracket <laughs> fast and furious. I'm telling you. In broad daylight. This is... <laughs> Somebody call Dominic Toretto to just sit on the setup and show him what family really means, okay? Yeah. Do I it for the family. It. Make the reverse <laughs> comeback for the family. All right, King Crux. Nago may got set up. Nago may got spin, but we got family. We got family. <laughs> All right, here we're going in with another Giovanna against Crux Nagoriyuki. Yeah, we've been seeing a decent amount of Giovannas come through, but not a, a lot of them have been able to keep that momentum going. Miss Mokame. Yeah. All right, starting off with the Beyblade. 2S going in for the pressure. Okay. Gets the burst. Get that burst out, oh, wants to fight out, but the 2D gets counter hit by the far, the 5H. And, and again, back to, look back to where where the King timeout Crooks. corner. Look where King Crooks is standing. Once again, just standing at that optimal range so you cannot move out with a freely. With a perfect. And the perfect to do it, locking him down. Miss Mokame. Insane. Looking at in Teleport. Oh, but misses the oh. 6K. Looking at a very rough spot. I don't think she's going to be able to go. Oh, no. Another burst. This is two perfects? I, oh, who knows? But, oh. 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 Okay, oh, we got no, perfect. no perfects. No perfects. And now it begins there, right? Oh. oh. No two perfects for Crook. But, hey. wow, Crook was just It wild. wasn't. Free, okay, got some damage on the board. Was able to stage a comeback a little bit too high for the oh, Sepultura. That's but right. You know what? That happened. Yeah, or the it, Soul Puente. I don't know. It what happened. happened. I don't speak Portuguese. Yeah, it looks like the team is not running bad. out of members. They are running out of members. And it, you know it, what? It is, They're not out of options. Oh, I saw Elvin <laughs> Shadow walk by, and I was just <laughs> like, oh, hold on, man. Is he making it? Is he doing the comeback? Elvis Shadow's like, yo, you need to, you need to yeah. stop. All right, you're doing way too much. <laughs> you're just tearing through this team. Yeah. We need, we need the content. Okay. If Celeste can win against Crook, then Celeste has a chance to just make a comeback. It's not over yo. until we say it's over. He's walking up with confidence. He's like, yo, get this right. Nako Ryuki out of here, bro. I'm not dealing with no top tiers in my bracket. Sat down, we're ready for the next one. Lurie over there to give him a pep talk. Yep, it, it's all going in. No coaching. I didn't get coaching. I did get coaching right after, actually. <laughs> hey, I got, if anything, I, I got coaching for dude, the brackets. <laughs> I was, let me go off on a tangent really quick and just talk about myself because my ego is massive. I dropped so much stuff against Lurie, and then I get off the sticks, and then Chris Cass is like, you did great, man. That was the best I've seen you play. And I was like, are you, ki are you kidding me? Oh, 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 I, oh, I, oh I God. I was so bad. Oh, God. It's like your jacket was evolved so much. And I was like, I I dropped Jacko's so many setups. I got hit by my own bomb like Jack twice, man. Jacko what are you requires about? so much brain cells 
if you want to get That's, working with that character. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think you can argue that in the beginning. And then once you have like all of the, oh yeah, I'll just send the minion this way, muscle memory. And then you learn the one bomb setup. You're just like, all right, I'll go for this anyway. Yeah. But anyway, there's no Jackos on screen. We got the double Nago Ryuki. And the mirror, the big mirror. And Gummy. Tries to go for counter. Oh, but gets the command grab. Gets the teleport. 6 HS for pressure. Oh, Ooh. but goes to throw. Okay. 6 HS, teleport. Nice, no, got him already locked oh, down in the, the corner. Two, the 2K clash. Ah, uh, I think he was trying to bait that burst. Another Understandable throw. so. Yeah. He's still waiting for the burst. There it is. And it was ready for right it. There. Damn. The gummy getting chewed up right now. Crook is just waiting for the burst bait. It's just waiting. Okay. I'll teleport back, but gets the clone and teleports. Gets the command grab. Once again, bit the gummy. And he is zooted right now. Look at that. Oh, the 5D gosh. uncharged. And wall break. The wall break. Yo, that's a full life bar. Is he going to do it? Let's hope not. Oh, hey, my hey, God. King Crook. looking pretty scary. It's looking nuts. The pressure's going on. It's looking nuts. Is he going to do it? Is he going to 5P? Oh, the Just 5P pressure. Him. Yeah. Keep that pressure going. Oh, the and blood the burst. Blood but he rage. Oh, he yeah. dashed into it. He spent the burst. Oh, but RCs. Yeah, but look at that full screen situation. Oh, oh he's no, dead. The hell? blood rage comes no. in. King Crux, how how is he doing it? Uh, how is he insane. doing it? He is walking up Can to anybody. everybody in this bracket and just going, "Give me your money. Give it. <laughs> Give me the win. <laughs> Give me the win." He's just not even asking. For, he's not even saying anything. He's just putting his hands in their pockets, Crook. taking their IDs and their wallets, and just being Crook like, "This is, is mine now." Crook is just this dominating is right now. This it's is insane. Mine. This is mine. I got look. I got two of them. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got it right here. Just, hey, hey, your win is in my hands. Just Gummy, me. Gummy's on him. He's like, "Yeah, he was pretty good. Just it's pretty it good." It's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, he's great. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, he goes there. He's trying to, he's like, there. He's trying to detail right now. He's just he like, oh, just, he's great. Woo. He's great. He's great. It's King Crook's wow. doing great. He's doing fantastic. And I'm not saying that because he's on my team. I'm saying that because he's doing fantastic. He is doing, he's playing very well with Nago. He knows how to burst bait. And he knows how to do his combos very well. And he's doing it to yeah. everybody. His game plan is on. And it's impressive. Like, it's just insane. Can anyone stop this man? Is there anyone, anyone in this anyone audience out there that can who stop has this man? watched him enough to be like, yo, is, I got his number? He is more than on no. a streak. He is dominating the bracket. Nobody's he, got his number. He keeps getting the burner in between matches. On, Cro Crook is on a killing frenzy. In the words of Halo, killing frenzy. Killing frenzy. <laughs> Kill him, man. Chill. Yo, let's get a Halo Infinite bracket here. <laughs> uh, yo, I'm down. All right. I'll, no worse. I haven't played Infinite in a while, though. I'm yeah, not yeah, don't, I'll, I'll carry you. No matter what. All right. Yeah, please I, do. I'll, I'll carry you. Don't I'm worry. A, I, I tried Infinite. I'll tr I tried it for. I gave it a good. I gave it a good college try. But it, uh, yeah. I'm an Apex player. I gotta be like. I need Apex. the Twitch, man. I need that. I'm an anime fighting game player. I'm an Apex player. It's the anime fighting. It's the anime shooter, right? That's what it is. I it's actually facts. I can't wait for DNF Duel. And Frosty Fossies, I'm going to say that right oh now. Oh, my God. DNF Duel, I'm going to say right now. I'm I said it on Twitter. I've been telling everybody here. I, I've, DNF Duel is going to be the hottest thing when it comes out yeah. for at least two months. And, with and aiding, then it's going to die. And with aiding on the spot, being back after, like, a decade since Marvel. You know it's cursed. We played the beta. It's cursed as hell. Yeah. Everybody's broken. And you already know here, me as a ranger main right here. Yeah. Oh, ranger main? I'm sorry. Your character needs buffs. Your character sucks. Your my character character's sucks. good. What do your you character mean? Is, your character has no mix whatsoever. I got my own mix. I can you make You only mix. have strike no mix. I can make the mix. Nothing stops anybody. All right, hold on. Before we get into this next match, I need to tell you. Nothing stops. Why would I Why would I not down back against ranger? He has no I, overheads. Listen, I, can, I can do just he has no. I can guard break anyone with gun spin. It's not a problem. That's about it. That's about all you can do. But what can Henny Trini do against King Crooks? Because he's already looking at dead? Already? We just started. We just started. I just, I just, I was talking we, we, about something. We just looked away and then what? What was the time, chat? I don't 84 seconds. What it was. 84 seconds. Oh, the time gosh. Right? Crook, yep. Gets ah. Oh, but yep, makes him using burst. Well, uh, he thought he probably thought he was gonna Fudra arc for the follow up, and he wanted to get the burst. Do six K. Outplaying. You himself. don't see many. You don't see many Kai's using six K. It's a really good button. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a good button to stagger the pressure with for sure. And yep. the throw bait. Oh, oh my God, he was bait. just outside of the bite range. Counter hit, yep. far slash, but he's What's back the in the corner for it. 
Okay, the jab out. Just you know, sir, oh, no. please. You the love grab. tap. Oh, tries to go for command grab again. He tried it again, but he dashed out. They, Henny Trini able oh, to stop the momentum. But what's next? He just got him in the corner now. Stun edge. Stun edge. Is he gonna try to zone? Oh, no. the command he grab. Gets Finish it on. off. Henny Trini. Yo, hey, look, that first match, that first round rather. The first it, match it, is like it took wow. him out of his element a little bit, and then by the time he had adapted. It was already too Crook late. Is just, it was already too late. Crook is just there. Will anybody stop him? I think Solstice is going to have to stop him himself. I'm pretty yeah, sure that's the only way. How many players are we down right now? It's the only way. All right. They're 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 laughing it up. They're buddies. Yeah, they're buddies. You got to take buddies. it in. Who do I got up next? Who's who, who's up here hopefully going to take it out over who, who is up King there? Crooks. I am getting goosebumps right now. Yeah, yeah. I've He's given everybody goosebumps. This is this is scary right this now. This is terrifying. This is very terrifying. Yeah, I'm all up for it though. I'm I'm mostly up for it. I'm waiting for the upset. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'll I'm say waiting. It. I'm waiting for someone to just come out and then turn it around. I'm so, I'll say it. I'm waiting for somebody to get King Crooks off the sticks. I'm I'm, I'm ready for that moment to come. Yeah. If it does. If it does. You know, it's, who it's, knows? It's, it's guilty gear strap. It's Everything's strive, been surprising. Strive right? at its finest. Strive at its finest. Yeah, when one dude strive. is just plowing through with Nago Ryuki, it's looking pretty good. Strive at home. At, it's right there, which is insane. Yeah. Strive at home. Like strive, in the living room. Strive, <laughs> in the home and the room and the living room. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. <laughs> Please. Oh my god. Please play Cog. Oh, another Eno. Alrighty, third Eno of the day. Enos have been able to get something going. Yeah. No but doubt not about so it. Much. This matchup is tricky, but Eno can still pull through. It's difficult because, I mean, Eno needs to knock you down. The Eno is only good when she when you're on the ground. That's right. That's what it is. Yep, Eno's game plan is to just knock you on the ground and then mix you up no matter what. I mean, that happens with, like, a lot of the pixie kind of characters, where their whole thing is just, like, knock you down once and then just, like, loop that pressure over and over. Oh, so Round star 2H, tried to go for it again. It worked against uh, King Crooks on the last Eno there. Gets but the burst. The burst before things got too crazy. There it is, the Get, note. Yep, gets the projectile. Oh, we have Mishiro. Hold up. You got Mishiro on deck? Okay. Oh, gets the 6 HS counter. Nice bursting for it. Oh, nice hovering right nice. over the far slash. Recognized it was too far for the 2K and the 2D. Yep. So he didn't follow Oh, up. misses it. Oh, but still gets it. Took the pull. Oh, my God. He's just swinging. And the two, 6K he's right swinging. there. Take the bat away from him. Yeah, this is dangerous. The hero still has a chance. It's okay. It's okay. He still has it. No, he doesn't. Counter. No, he doesn't. Oh, and this could be no, disastrous. No wall break. Look at that blood meter. He's sitting right outside the range. Okay, he's nope. got a dive Managed to get out. away from the corner. Yeah, but who knows? The 2K clashes. King and Crooks. gets the Beyblade counter. Goes for far slash. He's about to pressure in. Back in the corner. Oh, oh the 2H gets reaches. It. Stops the 6H. Yeah, this is looking pretty wild. Okay, he's got full. Oh, but misses the full break. Oh! oh. He could. He could, maybe. No, he's oh, okay. missed it. Oh, still gets it. Nice. All right, and we're going to the final match okay. for game 39. Game 39. Oh, my God. This We've is been here wild. Oh, but gets the mm -hmm. counter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost oh, but gets counter again. Yeah, counter hit Beyblade is terrifying. Sakura oh, crushes God, all the way over. That. Oh, goes for uh, Dude. 5HS. Swing on him. 6HS okay. pressure. Okay, he's going to burst. He's going to pop. He's going to pop. Yeah, he's got it. He's not yeah, he, he, has, he has burst. How many times did he teleport? Oh, oh nice. goes for it though. Cancels the goes first that. hit of the 6H. Oh! Oh, gets the command yeah, super! Yes. Well, this won't break. It's going to do big. Okay, it's What's big, the mix? big damage. What's it's the setup here? He's still got the BRC Oh, command break. grab. <laughs> yep. Good. Oh, my God. He still has oh, burst. He still has yeah, burst. Gets the burst. The, corner. the bite. Oh, my God. It. That was close. It does it. Oh, Even though, that was such a close match. Even though King Crooks took it, that was still probably the most hyped match. That was the, the hype match right how there. How so close it was. Right, was and so was he getting the command super was a smart move. Yo, let's talk about let's talk about that last bit. Okay, that was optimal. Okay, that was insane. super airtight. 
Well done from Mishiro. Very, very, very close. That is very, very insane. Close. That was such a close match. This is props to that Eno. No, very, that. very well played. Look, look. No, no slot. King Crux is. If you haven't noticed by now, if you haven't noticed by now, King Crux is no slouch. Mid 49th during the Guilty Gear Strive bracket on Friday. He's just making a tear through everybody here. That's I need insane. to know this man's region. I need to interview this That's person. Insane. He should be sitting right here. We, so we need to get him on commentating. We need to get it on commentating. We need to we need to try our luck. Definitely. No to, doubt to, about it. We need to save this team. What a close match Wait, it was. Wait, he's my team. You guys were. Yeah, you what are you did, talking you, about? Go ahead. What are you talking about? We'll figure you have no right to talk. We'll figure it out. Hey, he beat you once. You can Give me you just, have the data now. Right, give me just a moment and I'll be back for content. No problem. Man. No problem. Take your time. I appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. He's got to answer a phone call. Okay. He's got to make sure that he's home in time for dinner. But right now, Mom, I am getting duffed on commentary. And in Guilty Gear Strive. Things are looking dire. Mishido is still on the set. Up. I think they're either trying to organize who's coming up next. Damn. Oh, they're just, they just bantered. They're just having fun. Okay, I was going to say, are we going to get, is that the final one? That was intense. That was a super intense. Yo, chat, if you are in the chat and if you're popping off, I need to hear you. I need to know how you guys are doing today, how you guys are feeling, how you guys are loving the matches, because we are probably going to be, this may be our final one. I don't know how many teammates are left. I don't know who's left. Huh? Yeah, exactly. I think more people are just signing up on the spot. They're just like, I want in. And King Crooks is just like, yo, I want to, I want, I want more blood. I thirst for blood. Who are we gonna see coming up on the deck? Another soul bad guy, perhaps? Naga, another, oh, it's Amir. Okay. All right, I, I got, am back. I got the heads up from production. That and we're gonna get a Nago mirror. Yeah, we're gonna get another, another Nago mirror. All right, let's see. It'll be will fun. anyone, will this Nago take out Crook and make the comeback I, for the team? I feel safe in saying I doubt it, but I want to be proven wrong. I Any, would love anything to can happen. Wrong. Starting out, oh, starting out with a teleport. Goes for pressure. Command grab. Big old unit. My dude. Spin. Oh my gosh. Look at his blood rage. Oh my god. Okay. And goes for super. Yeah, this is going to be a lot. No one near death. Suit height. I'm thinking about the post, yeah, post wall break situation. He's going to Beyblade. He's just going to go for the teleport in. Nice checks on the way out. Oh, okay. good, good block. Okay, big old unit. Good he command. Get something oh, going here. HS. The PRC after the bite. Misses the clone. Or after the throw. Yo, he look. At, did you see the blood? I'm seeing it. It if, is. It is very close. It was one drop away. You needed to blow it a kiss. Oh, and then on it gets a little bit. And, and that's. Gonna you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do all that. That was. That was. That is unnecessary. Wow, crook. Insubordinate wow. and oh, churlish. Let's that. go. Oh, but misses. And he tells him, you know what, my DP is better. All right. Six HS. Gets the burst. Tries to bait blade. Like oh, but here. still gets it. Oh, but misses 5K. Oh my so goodness. Tries, oh my god, the burst bait. Yeah, this is looking dire. It's looking dangerous and dire. This is looking. Oh, to it. Oh, but oh, but misses it. This is, I, I can't speak. It's just all it's happening fine. at once. It's fine. I know. It's all happening hey, at once. Hey, I'm free. We've all been speechless before. Oh, command grab. RC. This is gonna scale. Okay. By allowing him to take his way down and then to restart the pressure safely. Oh, and that's and game. I think he's dead as hell. Okay. Another you know less member down. Alrighty, guys. You know what? I think I think we know what's happening here. I think King Crux is just gonna go on a tear. Crux? You know what? I'm gonna leave it to you. I'm gonna leave it to the other co-commentators. I'm gonna leave it to you in the chat. To right. let me know what happens because I gotta go. All right. All righty. It <laughs> was nice go. commentating with you, Fantastic sir. Fantastic commentating with you, Ultimate Wielder. I appreciate everything that you've been doing today. You had a really good run. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for being on the commentary with Thank me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Production. It's been awesome. And uh, I will see you guys another time. Good luck to Chris Chaos. Chris Chaos is our Chicago boy, but uh, I hope so. I won't be able to see him. All right. Thank Take you care, so guys. Thank you so much for the commentary. See you. All right. Will anybody be up for it?
Oh, oh, and he's back for more. <laughs> no, I got you, didn't I? Yeah. I got you, didn't I? I'm gonna do one more, one more with Chris Chaos, because that's my boy. Yeah. We're on the same. We're on the. We're, we work together. We we're neighbors. He is the one who get. He's taught me almost everything I know about this game. I need to sit on the sticks and tell you everything about this guy. Chris Chaos, legendary chip player, been in the FGC for a long, long time. He's one of godfathers of the FGC. I am very the interested Midwest to see scene. where this goes. Yeah, he's going to be uh, chip going up against the Nago. Probably the best chip in our region, I would say. Chris Chaos, let's go. Oh, gets the just block. Extremely ready. He was ready for that check. Chaos starting off strong. And this is, we were making this point a little bit earlier after the, the chip that we yeah. saw. Nice! Hey, goes for nice. the wall break. the wall break! Let's go! After the Alpha Blade, he's ready he's with that. He's in the lead. Chris just knows how to approach. That's the thing. Chris has been watching. He's a very studious player. He understands oh, how Oh, goes for the mix. Has no Alpha burst. Blade. Gonna keep this mix oh, up. Going goes the for the mix. switch. The YRC. Shmixeru. He's ready. But Chris has full meter. He's got burst oh, available. Oh, he goes for and it. And he's probably not even going to need to use it because he's got one oh, more. The overhead. overhead All right, let's go. This he's is got it. In the bag. Chris Chaos. Chris Chaos absolutely. needs one more round. Yeah. One, one more, more round against Crook. After extremely convincing first round. Oh, he goes no for the yep, counter. Oh, tries to go for the command grab. Oh, gets counter again. Okay, this is looking goes super for dangerous. Break. Another burst, but that's the wall break. Dude, Crooks has to be super aware. About how to spend that burst. Right, they both have burst. Anything can happen. Anything can oh, happen. He okay, there it is. That was a good burst just to be able to relieve that yep. pressure. But Chris Cass is right it. back in there. Full meter oh. once again. Immediately starting oh, the pressure, RC. And there oh, it is. The cuts break. There it is. And oh that's my it. God, Chris he beat has him. Dethroned King there we Cooks go. For Making Solstice. A he did it. He did it. He made it Coming happen. Coming back for the team. Let's go, Chris Chaos. It's not over yet. The it's Chicago not over. Legend. 27 game streak by King it's Crooks. Let's over go. It's not over until they say it's over. Well done to King Crooks for making that legendary streak. 27 Crook. wins in a row. Crook, you played very well. Over 27 different people. You cannot, you cannot discount Chris, that. Chris, Chris Chaos may have come out making of a comeback. Watching from the sidelines. Let this young blood, I know how to do it. Chris is I've just going in for the team. Right in there. Is just wow. Yeah, Chris Insane. Cass. Insane. With confidence. This is oh wow. Absolutely. So well done to Chris. That Absolutely well done, Chris. And, and in a very fat, like quick work to two lightning fast rounds. I this mean, this is insane. You were saying earlier about the Chip Nago Ryuki matchup and how it looks rough just because of how explosive yep. it is. I told you, Chip, Chip players Chip are still ready. Got it. They are ready for it. They know. Chip, they understand the risks. Chip will okay. not hold back. They no matter the what. Risks. No they matter what, Chip will not hold back. They understand the rules and they still break them. Okay. Yep. You may think it's a struggle, but when you actually see it in match, you're gonna be you're gonna be proven wrong. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Chris is going to start his legendary run with the comeback, and I'm going to take off for sure. I had to come back on. I had to come back on just to commentate my boy. Oh, of but course. I'm out of here for reals this time. Take okay. it easy. Take Thank it you easy, so much everybody. for the commentary. Thank you. See you around. All right, we're coming around back for the team, and now, yep. As you see, just disconnecting the controllers. Chris played very well in the matchup against Nago. All right, let's see who's up next. This is th th this has been a crazy run for Crook, but Chip manages to come around. Chris taking out Nago, and then now Chris has a chance to turn things around and then get the win for the team. Chris still has a chance. Anything can happen. I am excited to see where else this goes and nervous. I am curious to know what's going to happen in the next match. Well, Chris be able to take this match I am curious I am very excited for this all right get the controller on all right going into the button settings we got chip versus Faust this is gonna be looking pretty wild Chip has to be very careful careful with Faust. Faust can do anything. Bring on projectiles, whichever, teleports you. Anything. Anything can happen in this matchup. And I'm curious. I <laughs> mean, so this has been wild. It's not over for the team. Tempest could still win this, but they have to deal with Celeste. 
that anything can happen at this rate. Now, what music we're putting in. And we got a lone infection. All right, here we go. Anything is going to happen. And we got another commentator coming in. All right, we're going into our match right here. All right, you can hear me. Hello, yep, I can hear you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Somebody finally took out Quentin Crooks. That's crazy, that's crazy. I wasn't expecting the chip of all people to do it. I thought it would be another Nago. But Chip managed to pull through. Yeah, and here they are again. All right, Chip versus False Chris Chaos against Envy. Let's see where this goes. Starts oh, off. Wow, round, yep. round start burst. I'd love to see it. Oh, but managed to jump in it. Yep, gets 5K. Alpha Blade. Alpha Blade. Oh, six but 6P. Let's do it. Oh, tries to okay. overhead, but bashes 5P. Good mash. Oh, counter is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt, this and the then wall break. super. He's gonna get Oki off of this. Power of friendship, let's go. And we got Oki. <laughs> my friends are my power. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was managed to get the jump in. All right, round two. Chris Chaos taking one round. I think he can still make this H around. Gets bombed. Six P. Yep. Gets counter projectile. Ooh. Oh, we get. Oh, it did it early. Try to bait up the brakes. Oh, and then, oh, tries to push the bombs. Oh, pressuring. Pressure. You got hammer. Oh, uh, overhead. Combo. This combo is too. Command grab. Oh, Ooh. tries to throw. Mix. Good tech. Oh, but oh, misses. Combo, unfortunately. Oh, oh, but gets yeah. the super. The confirm is Chris nice. will be able to get Oki from this. All right, what's the setup here? Gets burst. Right. All right. Oh, but oh. tries to fight P. Oh, good DP. Oh, God. Well, this, this is Oh, but it turns oh, wait, around. It turned around, and he's still crumbled. Oh. Oh, and oh. Chris Chaos takes the good match. Try. That was good. That was good. That was good. Very claps, good. Claps. Really good match. Uh, that was. Wow. I was actually thinking Faust was going to take that round, yeah, and then I, you know, would I, go there. I thought the return of Faust was coming. You know? I was ready for that. But Chip, Chris Chaos, managed to make a comeback from that. I'm very impressed. Yeah. This, this is looking pretty wild here. You know, everybody here, you know, what were all these players yesterday or Friday? You know, I, I always thought it was a bunch of axles over there. There were no axles here. Yeah, is no it? no axles. Really, which is, well, we got some axles. We, we did we? Yeah, we did. We got axles. Oh, and then an axle, That's one axle, I forgot, uh, I forgot the username. Um, mm -hmm. That axle was close to beating that Naga. Oh, you serious? Crook? Uh, yeah, it was close. But Crook still managed to take the. Awesome. Yeah, it, it, it was a close match between Axel and Nago, but Nago still pulled through. This is what Nago does. Nago gets started. What, what, are you gonna, what are you gonna do to stop him? Uh, yep. Yeah. No, no matter what. All right. Hey, you're gummy. <laughs> wrong name. You got the you got the wrong name. You got an E at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got the wrong name for me for the commentating. <laughs> All right. It looks like these two are getting into All their right. match. Chip versus May. If I'm seeing. Chip that. versus May. Oh, I love this. All right. Cool. Wrong name. All right. Let's get right into the match. This matchup, it's not bad, but against May. It's pretty dangerous because yeah, one hit against May with full meter, it'll be one hit kill. Not, not even full meter. Near the corner. Not even like full a meter either. Counter hit. Yeah, you know, you're dead. That's like 80% at least. You're eating four dolphins. Right. A lot a lot oh, of wow, Totsukeki. It's spacing. Oh, but still, yep. Good counter. TP. Oh, give me up the corner. All right. Oh, oh the, counter the counter. And then kills. Zabhal taking the round. Oh, yeah, I like the choice to hold the burst till next round. Yeah, the, uh, I, I respect. He probably I, wasn't gonna have it. I respect the burst. Yeah. Chris Cow has burst, so Chris Cow has to use play. burst oh, twice. Insane. And Don't know. gets. Well I got hit. <laughs> I got hit. All right. Chris getting the positive bonus. Let's see what's next. Gets the 2D. He has full meter. Gets oh, the, the command, command grab. grab. And it killed Chris right. Cow. Game point. 
All right, game 42, final round. This is looking pretty wild. Oh. All right, first. He jumps over the dolphins. Yeah, the puffy puzzle is looking for an opening. Just move his move and, and gets and the burst. And burst. What's next? Oh, 2 oh, HS. Oh, the 2H. Oh, can you super? Oh. Oh. What's next? The command Get a command gram. We're using meter for this? No, we're keeping pressure. We're keeping pressure. Okay. Oh, the counter oh, so is! And then get super. I don't think this kills. It's not gonna kill. Chris Cass but he has does to be careful. Okay, yeah. He has to be careful with this next setup. He does it. May What's does next? have meter. No wake up super. Doesn't use it, and, and he takes that's it. it. Chris Chaos still rolling <laughs> in. I'm surprised. No super from uh, no no wake up super. That would have ended off. With uh, Chris Chaos. Yeah. I'm shocked. But still, that was but a you know very... What? Yeah, I respect it because I would have been scared too. That, I, I, I agree. I, I, been I respect that. That was a very close match. All right. It it's was the Chip arc now. It's his arc. It's his turn to be the main character. It was... Talk yeah, about. <laughs> Chip, Chip will go around. But it's not over yet. Chris Chaos still has a chance to come around for the team. Mm -hmm. Now that with Crook out of it, Chris Chaos still has a chance to come around and then get tied with a team. Yeah. It, it's going it's going to be a road, like a long journey, but it, it can it, be done. It's not over yet. Right. He just needs all members out. Oh, we got oh, Biking! Bike first Biking! The up. first Biking in this match. Oh, we got a Biking monster. All right. And Labbing. Our first Biking yep. in the 10 v They came mad late. They were Labbing the whole time. Yep. They seen, they've seen the competition. Let's see where this goes. Mm -hmm. Biking versus Chip. I have not seen this matchup. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm very curious. I can't wait to try out biking yeah, with them all. You know, I think... I, I don't know how this... I haven't seen this matchup play out, but... I imagine that uh, Kabari... You know, the new Kabari might not be too good for her in this. Well, because all right. Chip is just... Everything is safe on him. Right. I agree with that. All right. Chris Chaos versus Garbo. Oh, Chip and Biking. Oh, good 6P. 6P in the corner. Really tries to go for low. Gets the low. Oh, oh interrupts tries the Kabari. To the tether. Pressure in, in the corner. With the I respect the choice. Oh, and wall break. Oh, oh the counter. Is that going to kill? That is going to kill. Yeah. yeah. One round for Chris Chaos. Chris Let's Chaos see what happens next. Dominance two G counter, two but gets the OTG. Oh, Garbo just had a parry there. Yeah, I, oh, I it tries to go over overhead, but Biken stops with a two P. Okay. Gets the mix burst. Respect burst. The burst. Oh, Tatami. Oh. oh. All right. I guess two D again. Gets the RC. Yeah, Chris is playing this patiently. Just. Just and wall break. This uh, doesn't kill. Just a bit One left. Head. Garbo can still make this. What's comeback. next? Oh, oh the, the shuriken. shuriken kills. Right under the mat. Under the tatami. Wow. Look at the dominance. Chris Chaos just making it around. It's just coming around. Anyone can take down Chris Chaos. Can't Chris Chaos be. is feeling confident. Yo, I got five dollars. Whoever take him out. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I feel pretty confident about Chris Chaos. He knows how to handle Chip. He's been getting those 2D counters very well. Yeah, he's been converting off them very well, it, taking him to the corner, and well, almost guaranteeing a wall break every single time. It's, I mean, I'm just, wow. Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is a Chip player. And you know what? That's chip. what I will say. Chip players know how to, know how, they know how to chip, you know? They know how to break that wall. They yeah. know how to get you there. Chip, Chip, Chip will get you there. Yep. You gotta be aware. Oh. Uh. All right, just getting his name tag in. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who do I hear? That looks like, that sounds like a button. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, a button. It's yeah, a, they're buttons, doing button buttons. checking. <laughs> they're doing button checks. Gotta make sure you have the right inputs. Okay. Oh, it's an oh, Eno. oh, all right, another Eno. Eno. Chip versus Eno. Eno. I love that color for Eno. Yeah, best color. I, mm, I'm a sucker for pink, so... That's fair. Yeah. I totally I'm, respect I'm a, that. I'm a sucker for pink. I so. respect that. 
All right, but let's see. Eno versus Chip. This is... Dang, how, did, how is this matchup going to go? I think... Matchup wise, I think Chip. Uh, I think it's four six. And, and once Chip puts you in the corner, it, 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 yeah, Chip will just go yeah. all out. It, it's the same for both of them. Right there. The only difference is he has a DP. <laughs> oh, oh, good stop from Gamma Blade. And gets the gold burst. Oh. Oh, a plus. Wow. All right. Uh, Back in the corner. Yeah, gets chaos. the mix. Another mix. And all of RC didn't do super. This is gonna scale. Yep, positive bonus. Let me get that meter. Oh, good! Yeah, that, oh, heaven, that was insane. Heaven getting hit by the beta blade. That was insane. That was on reaction. Dual two. Guess the Round 2D counter. 2D. Oh, but the mix didn't work. Guess the throw. Gets the throw. Uh, uh, command, grab, command grab. Yep. Putting heaven in the corner. Oh, gets oh, a 6P. Projectile missing. Heaven slowly making their way in. Oh, I saw 6P animation. Gold, oh, good, burst. gold burst. Yep, plus frames. You got to yep. guess. Uh, you guessed correctly. Got to get. Got to play rock, paper, scissors. And that is yeah, that game. Was good. That was good. Chris Chaos taking another match. Chris Chaos is crazy. It's insane. Chaos knows what he's doing with Chip. He knows how to go through. Going in for the team, making yeah, a comeback. Chip is definitely a first one. Character. It's not over Celeste. Tempest could still win this, but they got a deal so with taking they? on the last who members. Are they calling up? Very, I wonder. So, if anyone at this game at this point, yeah, anyone can take. I want to see some variety. I want to see like a random character just you know put up a really good fight, potentially take him out. Right? I, 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 like, I, I need a. Fiery fight. Give me a gold, Lewis. Oh, that would be awesome. If we get gold, Lewis, in here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. I love watching gold, Lewis. I don't know. I just, he's probably, in Strive at least, in terms of newcomers, he's probably my favorite. Like, it's, a, I don't know, it's hard to say because I love Naguri yeah. Yuki. He looks really awesome. I think he's one of the better, like, samurai looking characters. You, you and just like to... Yeah, Gold Lewis. You like how Gold Lewis works. I love how Gold Lewis works. Yeah, right? I want to try him. He, he's hard, but... He's definitely... Ooh, he's got potential. Gold yeah, Lewis has does. got a bunch of potential. He's, he's definitely up there. Gold Lewis, one hit, and then just big damage Right, and, and he's a knowledge check, too. There's a lot of things you can do. Like, if your opponent does not know how to play against you, yeah. they will struggle. Yeah, Golo's got the Chris Redfield super bring the pain. <laughs> bring the pain. Punch and bowl. Bring the pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to check the chat. Uh, we just... I don't know the pattern. Uh, I'm not touching that. Do you know the, the log pattern for All the right, chat? Awesome. I'm not looking. All right, cool. Let's go. All right, chat's all going. All right, let's get into our match. Oh, we got Bike, another, another Biking, Biking versus okay. Chip. Oh, caught the back dash the 2D. Yeah, gets the, the command grab. Command oh, grab. tries to parry, but the command grab beats it. Oh, oh gold, the base gold, burst. gold burst. It's unfortunate. Get the air throw. Oh, yep. Mash the 2P. Got the Oh, get hit with the overhead. This and is a combo. Break. Is this going to kill? I think this is going to kill. Oh, yeah, it's dead. No, it's no just death? a bit left. That's What's insane. the setup? The Overhead the with a slash. Very slow. Right, goes Good. for the knockdown. the knockdown. Back steps. Oh, Seth yeah, Hami. zoning. But gets the DP. A wall bounce. Oh, oh tries oh, to he parry. the parry. That was nuts. And command grab again. Yep, command grab. Got to guess. What's the mix? Oh. All right. The JD to break the corner. Oh, the BRC. BRC. Oh, but tries to throw. Oh, he oh, goes the other way. And burst. burst. It's not over yet. We and got one left. the throw is going to kill Chris Chaos, taking it for the team. 18 28. 18 28. Wow. It's going to wow. get so close. Tempest is so close to 30. We might have another crook situation here. Yeah, we, 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 we might have. We well, might. Not, Chris. Well, you know what? Not might. We are having another crook situation. This player, yeah. who's gonna slap? Who's gonna stop him? Yep. He's insane. Yep. <laughs> yep. Chris stopped crook, but will there be anyone to stop Chris Chaos? I would like to see the crook and chaos run back. <laughs> to be honest. Anyway, anything can happen at this point. Yeah, I am yeah. very excited. 
So who is coming up? Oh, they're following them down. Yeah. All right. I bl I think for the next match, I think I'll let, I'll let someone commentate because I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that wants to commentate. So for the next match, Maybe. the next match, I'll commentate and then I'll be gone. All right. But this is Let's looking pretty. But this has been a pretty exciting match so far. Right. It's it's been a good weekend for Guilty Gear. Yeah, and for Frosties. And even. for Frosty, yeah. It's in general. Every game has have some like amazing. Uh, yeah, awesome Guil highlights. Guilty Gear. It's it's so nice to see Guilty Gear getting like the highlight it deserves after it right. came out, selling really well. Yeah, Stri Strive did that. You know, Strive is. And I think I think it can go as far back as to maybe, maybe Dragon Ball Fighters. You know, maybe, I mean, no matter what you say about Strive, it may not be for everyone. But it may not be. You for have to admit it's been doing really well. A hundred percent. It's been 100%. it's been doing very well. It's, that is an undeniable there. fact. Like, this game has been doing really well since launch. I think, well, it's probably the most played anime game right now. Yeah? Yeah, like, the anime, for, it's, it's a dub. Yeah, almost that one million copies sold, which I'm shocked. What's your well, favorite? Well, Oh, this is good. Or Milia. Yeah, Milia. Okay. This, is, this is our first Milia. If I is it our first Milia? I think it is. Oh, no, that was, that was that button check. Okay, yeah, it was, was the button check, about. so yeah. yeah, this would count as the first Milia. All right, let's get in right here. Chip versus Milia. That's, all right, so let's see. This is, I think Milia is a good pick. Maybe because you can just stay in the air, avoid chip, and go in when you need to. Right. Yeah, yeah look at this. But chip is like that. really fast and can. Yeah, really is a good correctly. pick. Yeah. Nothing's correctly. gonna stop Chris Chaos. Chris Chaos will stop it. Look at that wall break. Yeah, Chris Chaos won't stop. That does damage. I guess sure you can damage. Ooh. Unfortunately, he didn't get the 5H. Get the he gets throw. Up throw. All right. One round for Chris Chaos. What's next? Oh, hair cards to me. Ultimate and guess the setup. Guess, yep, you gotta guess. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. he gets the first bait. Oh, first but bait. Didn't Unfor punish. unfortunately, didn't punish. Guess the counter. Oh, but oh, gets the throw. Grab. Oh, this is fake because he knows. Oh, beta played off of it. Oh yeah, Chris got that knowledge. Ooh, he knows. It's rare you see that. Back steps, avoiding the damage. Oh the. Oh, oh, command grabs the yeah, wrong way. The wrong way. Oh, the gold oh, burst. Oh, no, no this is death. the gold burst leading That's into the hill. That is death. Oh, I hope that wasn't accidental. I, yeah. That I, would I, suck. I, I, I would, oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the upset. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Oh, better. I, I could better tell. Stuff. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh. Wow. That is Dang, I wonder um, how many we have left. Yeah, I, I it's been it's long. Yeah. yeah. So far Celeste is still making a come around. But Chris Chaos is doing it for the team. Yeah, so Chris, Chris is just having this a is, good time. This is this is coming out very, very long. Oh yeah, look at him pull up with the coffee. He's ready. Yep. So far it's just going all out. I think I'll stick up for one more. Yeah, all right, yeah, that's I don't know, maybe that might change. That's all hey, that's all good. No, because I never commentated before, and I'm really enjoying this. Really? Yeah, it's well, my, yeah, it's my yeah, first time. I think first yeah, time. you have a knack for it. Yeah, it's definitely, I can tell, you know, you have the energy for it. It's really good. Yeah, I, I think. I think you should, uh, I think you should try and pursue that. Really? You know? I, yeah. I, I might. I you, think you, got I a, you got a local, or you got like a local scene or anything? I do. Uh, South Florida has one, for oh, sure. Yeah, so I, I say team. just, you know, try it. Ask, ask Maybe, me If I do get the permission for it one day. Yeah, you know, obviously you got to get the permission, but yeah. I'd say, you know what, shoot your shot, ask, you know? Yeah. Because uh, I think I started Jesus. maybe... My first time commentating was a f maybe like last September. I was really nervous going into it, and you know what? It was it's really fun. It's yeah, a really think, fun gig. I think I'll give it a shot again. Yeah. Yep. And we're on with our second Leo for the day. Oh, Chip Leo? versus Leo. Ooh, this is really good for Leo, actually. Yep. The last yeah. Leo we saw, it was against Nago. It was Gets against cooked. Nago, yep. That, and that one was a close one, too. It was very close. Yeah. Nago is just a powerhouse character. Let's see. And the flash kick, so he can ignore Mix. Oh, the 2D. I guess the counter. Oh, Chris, Chris Chaos is getting these counter at 2Ds like crazy. Waiting for the opportunity. Oh, oh good, good back dash. A projectile calling. 
No burst. Oh, oh the DP. Yep, called out the DP. And the super. Mm -hmm. Call, yep. Didn't Flash want that super burst. Going out. in. Unfortunately, go didn't No. Gold get burst. the gold burst. I. Yeah, that, oh, I don't no. think the gold burst was a good idea there. All right, second okay. round here. Chris no burst this round going in. He wins it. And six B going in. Got Alpha Blade going in. And super. It's a combo. It's a combo. It's a yep. chip combo. Let's get that positive bonus. Let's get more meter. What's next? Oh, oh good. Go text tech. to throw. Throw up. Yep. All right. Going in. Oh, but mm -hmm. goes for dust. And chip pushing in. All the way in the corner. Oh, but flash DP. kick. He's gonna get, he's gonna convert off this. Oh, oh it didn't convert. Did it wall bounce? Hey, no, it didn't wall bounce. That's weird. I thought it did. I thought it should. Be. Oh, nice. And that is, that is gonna, gonna kill. kill. Yeah. Who's gonna stop him? Who's Chris gonna Chaos, stop Chris Chaos? Chris Chaos still going in. He is still Unstoppable in. Unstoppable force. Still going in. Who gonna check you? Is anybody gonna <laughs> stop Chris Chaos? <laughs> oh, Chris is just having a good time. <laughs> He's having a blast, and it's it, it it's nice to see all the players coming around from anywhere, all over the world, having such a fun time here. Right, it's, I'm, uh, it's I'm very really glad nice offline that. is slowly making its way back. I'm very happy online. When going back to offline, it feels so it's much better. Rollback yeah. is great, but when you get the feel of online, offline, right. it's it just be beat. it's satisfying yeah they it's, it feels I think, so great i think cheering with the crowd you know just having a live audience i think everybody loves that you know yep. all I right think. okay well i'm gonna go ahead and let someone commentate sure i am for first time commenting i think i did really well yeah you did really yeah, well i yeah. hope the people in the chat feel the same way so i think i'll try commentating again the next time uh a local happens if I get the permission for that. Yeah, sure. But I'd yeah. say ask. It's it. been it's been nice commentating with you all. For sure. If, if anything, I do know this online tourney, and um, it's every, it's bi-weekly. They allow new people to commentate. If you'd like, I can send you the link. Of course. Yeah. Wait, so yeah. You, you uh, got Discord. Uh, yeah, I got a Discord. Look, look. See, chat says you did great. Look at that. Thank you. Boom. Love to see it. Here. Uh. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I would like to do commentating again. It, it's pretty nice. That is not it. Uh, where? Uh, I'll help you out. Go to the where the yeah, that. Here, oh yeah, that's what they changed it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was, a looking, lot for of, a I lot was of, looking for the old way. A lot of changes here. All right. There we go. I'll All accept right. it. Wait, is that Marvello? Marvello? No, you, can't, you can't go. You okay, I can't go. Yeah, no, okay, <laughs> scratch that. Marvello is in. Oh, Marvello. Oh, we got to send in the big oh, dogs. That's God. what we're doing. Dog. Oh, they got the big dogs. Chip beat Chip. We got some Chip ninja versus stuff. Chip. Marvello <laughs> is. Can Marvello beat Chris Chaos and then just make it around for the team? Let's find out. Chris Chaos versus Marvello. Oh, my. Chip mirrors. Marvello going in for the pressure. Oh, checking him with the clone. Goes for command Jumps grab. Jumps command Go grab. Yep. 6P. Yep. Pressure right. Back steps. A lot of back stepping. Oh, yeah. We, we in the danger zone for Chris Chaos. Moving. Yep. The two Ds just keep him checking. Gets the beta blade counter. Blade. Gets the mix. Oh, go tries to go for overhead, but... Oh, calls oh, out the beta blade. Oh, comboing off of 5P, but in a burst Marvello came in. Burst. Oh, tries to go for 2D counter. Oh, both players are just moving Gets so fast. Gets 2D knockdown. Trying to feel each other out. Oh, but in RC. Oh, yeah, look at, look at all this. Oh, it blocks the mix. Yep. Oh, he got me. Oh, he's going for the guess. mix. And oh, gets the double, round. The double low. Marvello taking the round. Can Chris mm. Chaos make a comeback? Let's see, Chris Chaos definitely has the fight. Gets the 2S counter. All oh, right, gets the, gets the counter. 5D. Oh, yep. There's yeah, the count right there, but burst. No burst. Both players no burst. This is looking even. Marvello getting the RC. Going yeah, for corner. Take him to the corner. Gamma Blade. Oh. oh. It jumps to 2D. Oh, Chris Chaos trying to go for the mix. It's also hard to keep up with Chris Chaos has to be careful. Gets the counter. Gets red RC. 
Oh, but miss is 2S. How did that 2S miss? Yeah. Oh, oh, gets the counter. Oh, but misses. Gets oh, the overhead. The 3K. Going for pressure. Marvel's oh, in a corner. Oh, did he go oh first? I think this is going to kill. Oh, he tried to pay oh, out the burst. Oh, to burst. Oh, I oh, think this is it. No, no, both players on one touch. Both players on one touch. Oh, he didn't burst. Why RC? Oh, he tried to, oh, he tried to throw. Are we going to see a gold Oh, oh and the game of play kills Marvel. Oh, taking down Chris Chaos. Mark. Oh, that was a match. That was a match. What was a, a match. match. Chris Chaos, honestly. Yo, good did, stuff. That man. was good, good stuff. stuff. You played very well. Marvello oh, here up? in the oh, match. Oh, look at that. Right here. Yes, we got the Marvello big man. Marvello going in. We got the big man himself. Tempest is now still in the Tempest lead. Tempest is in the building. It's not over yet. Not over. Wow, the, I, I was so shocked. I, I, well, I guess I gotta stay here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop my excuse. No, you're all good. Let me go ahead and. Oh my goodness. That is. Jimmy's wow. Up. I was so blown away. You were like, wait, is that Marvello? <laughs> that is. Wow. Marvello yesterday played very well. Yep. In Marvel 3, too. He played, he played very well in Marvel 3. I will say that. And I'd seen him on stream for Strive. He, his, he knows what he'd do with Chip. Coming down from South Florida, showing what he can do with Chip. Yeah, he came here to play, and I respect that. He came here He came here with the fun and all that. All right, now we have here Ramethal versus Chip. Lethal this versus matchup Chip. is even, but Chip has to be very careful with how he approaches Ramethal. Mm -hmm. Ramethal can just Ramethal take can it out just keep with out one hit. Up. Anything yeah. can happen. All right, we're going in with a 5K, 5K counter. Check record. Back dash. Short, and in then there. goes for the mix. Right. Oh, oh gets 6P. Here comes damage. the oil. Oh, nice. oh, we got the dash kills. Oh, good job. Gets, gets out the corner. And goes for overhead. What's the next? The risk gauge is full. Oh, Anything good can blocks. Oh, the good. Risk Look at that risk gauge. Oh, oh, the oh yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Marvello still has a chance here. He's looking pretty in a tight spot. Yeah, this is really rough. Marvello definitely got to try his best. Close to the corner. Almost to the corner. Now Marvello is in the corner. Marvello has to be very careful with Remethal. Ramaphon so needs Marvel. one super, one wake up super to take down Chip. Plus frames, yep. Get, gets hit by the low clone. With a Gamma Blade and a throw. Oh, the super oh, the calls block. it out. Good the block. Blocks. And with the wall, wall break, break, getting positive bonus. No meter, so no wake up super. Right, dash in with a sword. Back step. Right. This, is this, is, this, is, this is very All scary. This is very scary. I am so scared. Touch. Anything can happen. Gamma Blade. Oh, oh six P. Oh, good blocks. Six P. Six P in a clone. Marvello taking the round. We're on to the final round for game 50. Wow, game 50. <laughs> this, is, wow. this is this is so hype. Oh, gets the throw. Yeah, gets the tick throw. Putting Ramathorn in the corner, getting Gamma Blade. Oh, gets the, the gold clone. burst. Gets the gold burst. Because of it. Gets RC. Oh, oh but tries to just within chip bench to get the DP. Putting Marvello in the corner. What? What will Marvello do? Oh, but misses the knockdown. Oh, oh tries to get Oh! Getting the mix. Meter make himself safe. Solstice is definitely was not ready for it. Yeah, oh, tries to go over her head. Oh, tries oh, to go over mix, but gets XP. Oh, uh, we have these. Chip, okay. Marvello oh. has burst now. He has to be very burst. careful with how he uses burst. Otherwise, it's game over for Marvello. Right. Very good burst. I respect, yep, I respect Very good burst. burst. It's anyone's game, oh, and that is that's game. game. Solstice, Solstice, Solstice does not want to go out that, without a fight. That, that Solstice We're fighting. Still, yep, that is wow. It was very nice to see Marvello play. Yeah, his yeah heart that out. was really good. I'm, well, uh, that was really good. Both players you know, playing their heart out. That was very impressive. Yeah, going back to the conversation earlier. Marvello. I'll be here. Oh yeah, yeah. But still, very fantastic play from Marvello and Solstice. Very good stuff, fucking man. awesome, dude. Good, good stuff. stuff.
Good stuff. You definitely shocked me. I didn't know you entered. <laughs> wow. It seems like they're making an announcement. What? What's going on? I'm not sure. That's crazy. Anyway, we got another player walking in. And this time, I'll stick around for one more, and then I'll let someone count it. I mean, <laughs> you're all so good. Counting has been pretty great. I feel very confident about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Who do we got? All right. This oh, is I know I see I, see, I think I recognize them. Right, we got Bunchek coming in. Yeah. All right. The character sex screen. Right. Yeah, well, okay, Bunchek coming in. Well, this is game 52. They, they this is game off. 50, off Game of 51? I believe. Too many fun matches. Th these matches, these 50, last 50 matches has been wild. Right. I heard a biking. I heard a biking. You heard a bike? Was that Ram bike? Biking Ooh. and Ramathal. You know, okay, I'm very curious about how this plays out because obviously Ramathal likes to throw out Far Slash and that's how right. she checks you. But, but biking has a frame once parry and can guard break off that. Yep, biking can still go in. It's not a bad matchup, it seems. Right. And I, I wouldn't know and because I think I if Viking gets tethered, I think I, she might be at advantage at this point. I wouldn't know how this matchup goes because I yeah, haven't this seen is, much. This is new to me. But let's oh, see how this the goes. Oh, color. That's sick. The color is really nice. The black and yellow. Oh, oh the parry. Oh, trying parry already. Soul Stice versus Top trade? Pump. Goes for Super. Putting in, in the corner. Good match. Oh, tries to go, go for... Go for the Kabari. Are you blocking this? It hits the low. Oh, Good the burst. burst. I respect the burst. Mash out, putting in corner. Mashing, jumping right. 5P Biking to put Tom to in the corner. But now Tom... Oh, Tom oh Tom the Tom super! I think Tom Bomb is definitely just trying to uh, trying to test Solstice if they're just going to press buttons. I think this time, this time around, they're, they know they're not going to. Right. I can see that. It is right now 21 and 29 right now. Good right now, Tempest still needs Solstice. one point to make it up to 30. And with Ramathal getting the dust and then getting yep, this the is wall break. I'm wall break. The meter. Oh, managed to get the meter with the positive bonus. What's next? BRC. Oh, oh this kills. I have never seen that. That is yep, killing. That was all burst. And with Viking yeah. getting burst. Yep. So let's still you take know, I, I, res I respect these people picking Viking. I, I, Somebody I has that. to. I respect that. I <laughs> definitely respect that. This is, these matches have been pretty wild. Yeah. And so far, no, is the team out. still has the chance to make it through. Yeah, Solstice it, just it's been a, it, it, It's right now 621. Oh, wow, it's been going up for I don't know how long. Three, four hours? No, four and a half maybe. -ish. It's been pretty crazy so yeah, far. 50 games, and you know what? We have these amazing players to blame for that. Why are yeah, you guys we, good making these matches last the, forever? They're, they're, they're players out there playing their hearts out, mm -hmm. just doing what they do best. And playing it for the fun, of course. Exactly. And they're playing. Ooh, All right. Play. This is where I sign off of a commentary. Right? It was nice commentarying with you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it was. It still shocked me seeing that Marvello came in. I yeah, it was, I've, yeah, there's been a few times. Of course. Here. Anyway, I hope you all liked my commentary. I'm Ultima Wielder. I'm signing out. Have a good night, you all. And thank you so much for the commentary. Yeah, no problem. Man. Of course. I'm very glad I could be here for commentary. Thank you so much. Yeah, good stuff, man. All right, let's see what we got. We got Ramlethal, Anji. Okay, I like this because, uh, I mean, Anji's spin is just uh, it's really good here. I mean, it's, it's neutral, too, right? It's his main move. Solstice is practice part. <laughs> oh, I need a name. I'm just going to say Anji. Oh, my, calls out the, bat, the, the grab. Far slash. Counter hit. Super. Yep, what are you going to do here? That's a hard knockdown and positive bonus. Go to the back dash. That's brave. That's brave. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Is here watching some good games. Oh, yeah, we are watching some good games. This is, we're nearing the end here, aren't we? Uh, It's about near. Yeah, if. Solstice's practice partner. <laughs> he's Solstice, and yeah, that would be. Yeah. <laughs> but Solstice is showing dominance. Hey, look, look at this. 
Yeah. He, did Schultz to not wall break, he was corner pressure. And yeah, this is kind of what we expect from Solstice, right? Solstice such a strong player making it to that top eight spot yesterday. Ooh, right. Oh, oh impeding that burst. Completely Super, burst save. Yep, takes the game. Oh. That is a power emoth. Oh, oh. Oh, a little too oh, fast. Did it. Little okay, yeah, I guess that's okay. <laughs> he I it. understand he took you out pretty quick, but you can't be moving that fast. Yep. Come on now. <laughs> you cannot be moving that fast. He was ready. Boom. Let me get out of here. <laughs> All right, I believe we're going to be calling our next uh, next opponent in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, this first to one format is brutal, man. Yeah, it's definitely tough. It's, it's some players, man. Especially when you're uh, fighting against a caliber player uh, at such as Tempest yeah. or uh, or such as uh, Solstice as oh, well. Oh, wait, but it looks like is, we're just going to. This is the end. Is this just the end? Yeah. Uh, I, I believe I it's believe this means that Tempest has uh, run out of teammates here. Yeah, so this, this so we're is just for gonna, everything. Yeah, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna have a top player first to one, man. Top player first to one. Japanese bracket out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh Musty my god. Musty gummies. <laughs> Oh no, I, I I think if a gummy was musty, you really gotta call someone about that. That that's not good. <laughs> That's not good Definitely at all. Definitely got to file a complaint at that point. Mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. here we go. Let me see. Ramnathal and Leo. Ramnathal. I... I mean, this matchup is honestly about you. And, and I, I think Ramnathal suffers super hard if, 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 you, if you ever get tagged by Leo. Yeah. Calls out the back dash. Yeah, you, you, see, you see, that Solstice is scared of uh, taking that pressure. So it has to burst out, burst out immediately. You cannot really take any of that. Yeah. Ooh, that oh, was a scary counter poke. Good, Mm -hmm. Oh, good block on the pocket. Oh, no, oh, yeah. oh, just block. Ooh. Just block to get that position. It's like a whiff punish flash kick, man. This character. This <laughs> character is insane. I love it. Oh, 5k trade. Working out in the favor of Tepis. Keeps him in on Solstice. Oh, this in, is dead. Yeah, into the super. That's going to wall break soon, kill. 100%. 100%. Let's rock. Right, round oh my god, that 2D to flash kick, my favorite. That 2D, man. That 2D is another one of Leo's cursed normals. It just, just covers a bunch of airspace as well. And yeah. you can get a, and you get a full counter confirm on it as well. Crazy move. All right. Good nice job, throw from yeah. Solstice, though. Just the frame kill with the two, uh, two swings. The 6 Ooh, trade? The oh, the trade? That was, a, that was a great first bait from Solstice there. No meter for super. This, yep. might, this kills. Back with the swords. And this is final, final round here. Final, yeah. final round for final both round. teams. Yeah, this is for everything. It's for all the marbles. Both ooh, players ooh. keep it through all 6P. My 6H. All right. Tempest now has to close this gap. But he's already put in the corner against Ramathal. Not good. Taking the throw, too. Going to OTG into a sword. You can't take another hit here if you are Tempest. If you get wall broken at this point, Solstice at 50 meter. Going to spend that super. And it will kill. Oh. Good start. Twice this time. Calls it out. Great parry right Parries there. Parries. Oh. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's damage. That's so much damage. This is going to lead to a mix up for Tempest. About 50% health for both players. Oh, great knockdown for Solstice, though. Gets out of yep, the corner. Yep, gets out the corner and takes that chance. A good grab. Great throw. Sword toss. Sword toss into PRC. Plus frames. Yep. Oh, this is going to oh, do it. This is gonna, this that is, is it. it. That's it. I believe that is the end of the team tournament, if I'm correct. Unless I was uh, wrong about that and Tempest still has some teammates left, but I'm not sure that he does. Uh, what? I, I see Solstice. Is that, is that the end? Is that the end? So Team Solstice won. See, Team Solstice wins. Team Unfortunately, Solstice wins. I don't think Tempest uh, was able to garner enough teammates uh, for this battle, but I mean... Great showing all around for both teams. It was really yeah, back and it was forth. A good show. It was actually we've been here like I only just got here, but y'all been here for like hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, my it, goodness. It was insane. Uh, we've had like some dominant characters. First it was Faust. Mm -hmm. I think Faust what won seven. Uh, I think it was about ten. And then yeah, uh, and then the Nago came in and won yeah. uh twenty. That was twenty two. Twenty two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, Nagura Yuki is a fun character. He's Nagura yeah. Yuki is scary in the first one. Oh yeah, no, it's absolutely. Scary, yeah, yeah. Nagori Yuki in the first one is basically just like, I mean, I mean, you see them all, all you see them on netplay all the time. You mm -hmm. see all these first one Nagori Yuki just dipping immediately yeah, after that first win. It's like, oh, I hit you one time not, with this yeah. with this flip. I <laughs> later. would love to play, but I need I need my Celestials. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just that. I'm just gonna keep robbing people. I'll right. check you guys later. But yeah, that is gonna uh, wrap up the Tempi Town if I'm correct. A first to ten? A first to ten? Against who? Oh, him and Lurie? 
The Faust, the lady from. Ooh. Ooh, it, it, so remember that Faust I mentioned the the one like ten games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Elvin wants to do a first to ten with him. Yeah. So Ooh. what actually happened was <laughs> in their first to one, the timer was set to forty five seconds. Oh. So he got timed out both times. Oh, that's. And it was uh, you know. I'm not gonna <laughs> take that. I wanna I'm not win. gonna take that. We want a first to ten. So I think they're gonna do a first to ten money match. That ooh, Faust mirror first to ten. I'm down. I'm down. To talk about some of that. That sounds like a good time.